Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Cash the Goblin. This is the Goblin Cave and we are on our fourth or maybe fifth installment of Prince of the Apocalypse. I'll have to check that up but um, we're getting into there. Our players are complaining that they're not um, second level and they've got very few hit points. Um, but we've been having some fun. They've had some um, issues with um, spookiness and bandits and an egg keg that came out of the ground and disturbed their sleep one night recently. Um, so they're back in town, they're having some fun and um, just looking to let, let their hair down and um, apparently spend quite a bit of um, funds because well if it's no use having money unless you want like you can spend it but in this case I think we don't have the money to spend that 150 um, gold on new armor. Um, so we'll cross across to our cast members. <coughs> So here's everybody for the day. Um, oh. we, um, you may notice that we're missing Will. Um, something popped up only about an hour or so before the stream and um, we will miss him. If he does come back, we'll probably just take a break quickly and try to do a really quick setup and come straight back in. Um, if that does happen though, that may be us having to go offline so we can reset up the overlays just as a heads up. But other than that, um, we'll do a quick um, run through of who we are. Um, as always, Kameli at the start. I'm Kameli, I play Robot the Beard. Come and join us and bask in my awesomeness. Is that join us, Robot and the Beard, or...? Yeah. So we're still working out if it's a separate entity and if it's sentient. It. Yeah. Uh, Ninjavo. Hey, I'm Ninjavo. I play Ward, the Goliath Warlock. And yeah, let's try to not die again. That'd be great. Yep. Um, and as I said, Will is currently absent, so our healer for the party is absent, which can make things quite dangerous. And interesting and fun. So, um, next is Sky. Hi, I'm Sky Blue Shrinks, or just Marco, and I'm playing Kip, the Cobalt Fighter, and strangely what seems to be the voice of reason for the party, which is <laughs> which is bizarre. Really scary if you actually know that voice. And how little reason that voice has. Um, and finally, Peach or Mars. Hi, I'm Peach or Mars, and I play. Don't tell me. I, I know who I play. I, <laughs> I play so. The teeth real. It's human if you ask her, but don't ask her anything about anything. And uh, let's have some fun. And not die. You, you, uh, play, you, you play the charlatan background so well, you forget your own character. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was going to ask, ask, don't ask her name more than once because she'll forget which one she was using. And yet when we're off screen, she knows exactly who she is constantly. Yeah, and all, and all the fan art which she's drawing for herself of her own character in the party always looks amazing. Um, the character art done for the party is done by Juimon. Um, she's on Twitch TV. Uh, she's an um, artist streamer, um, an illustrator streamer, and um, even she's saying she loves that artwork. Um, she's like she's very enamoured with the artwork that you do of so in the party. Um, so, um, as we left off, um, oh sorry, just a couple of um, housekeeping as well. Um, we are um affiliate members so you can subscribe now to the channel you can also make donations and tips and bits and things like that um i've been setting up the overlays to actually show them there's a few more things to go on that but um you can do it yay and it always scares the crap out of me and i'm very much appreciated when it comes through um on top of that if you can't afford anything like that um you can always just follow the channel it's great it means a lot of means that you'll get updates on when we're going live um, we have three shows generally a week. Um, we be goblins on uh, the start of the week, and then my first dungeon, and then this uh, Prince of the Apocalypse. Um, and in between, I might do some let's plays or dungeon prep. And I don't announce the dungeon prep sp specifically because um, I don't want my cast members to jump in and go, "Oh, so this is what we're doing next week." <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of random cast members come through, so just, yeah. Um, so you might get a bit of a sneak peek on what's coming up, not specifically for those shows, but actually for other things, like a possible Dungeons Dungeons and Dragons and PvP, or Dungeons vs Dragons. 
Um, actually, dungeons having a Dungeons and Dragons PvP with just dragons that could be fun. Oh wow! Dragon War. Yeah, Dragon Wars <laughs> and dungeons. I think I got the characters. Yeah, I can think it's doable. But anyway, we'll we'll, we'll jump into the game. Um, so, yeah, thanks for being in channel. Um, hi everybody. Um, so where we left off is our adventures have come back to town. They've had a bit of the market. Um, they've looked more into armor now that things are getting dangerous and they're getting a little bit of coin. Ward is now, I believe, 120 golden debts. Woo! From memory? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's going to be a bit costly and you've got about, was it two or three weeks to actually... Three weeks. Like, three, but ten I days. I don't know what three weeks they're going by. So a ten days yeah, you stand in. Yeah, time, then two weeks ago a lot of people oh. in the day. Oh yes, <laughs> and, and, we, and the party also lost about a ten day. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do apologise about the workmen. Um, the building that I'm living in is shifting and there's people trying to steady. We've tried to minimise the noise and work on the sound, but it may come through. So I'll just say that now because I can hear it. Um, so here we are. Oops. There we are in Red Lark. Um, our quiet country village, not too distant from, um, from Waterdeep and um, just a nice country village and a trade hub for the local communities and Wagoneers. Um, and I believe, uh, I think the plan was to party all night? Yeah. Woo! I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else was planning. First it was a happy party and now it's a, we missed a week, we're really sad, we almost died, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with our healer, let's drink! <laughs> Drink. Okay. Oh, and thanks for the mustache. I'm my background is circus performing. Um, so, um, yeah. So, the tavern that you stay in, the Swinging Sword, is the local hub for drinking. Um, not for food. Convenient. Not for food though. Um, the food is still every morning, every afternoon, um, every night. It's barbecues in. In the middle of the paddock or in the middle of the um, yards out the back um, because the um, how can I put it the kitchens have a, um, a problem with getting um, caught alight and um, setting on fire and burning down every now and then so they're w working on rebuilding it still um, so once again you're in the um, swinging sword um, drinking the night away um, the atmosphere is a bit lively um, I'll move the map so you can actually be on that. There we go. Ooh, yay. Oh, the music. Yes. I'm starting to use the music as well. So here's our swinging sword in. Um, it's a nice nice evening. Um, a lot of the town actually comes to the swinging sword to drink each night. Um, although, as I said, they go elsewhere for the food. And you haven't really searched that out. You've still been eating here instead. Um, is there anything you want to do apart from just drinking and revelry or? Um, uh, is the innkeep lady who gives us quests and stuff still awake? Well, she's still there. Yeah. Um, I'll just look. What sort of time is it? Um, we'll be getting into darkness, so it'll be probably about seven, eight at night. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna slam down my drink. <laughs> Excuse me, innkeeper lady. <laughs> I'm probably like five drinks in by now. So Kalesa, Kalesa, <laughs> and what other quests do you have apart from the inn? And I'm just slurring my words. <laughs> it's probably his first time really drinking. You don't think Ward would be the light <laughs> I'm very confused by this strange ritual. I've never really, I mean, while we were in training, this never really happened. So <laughs> this is a very, very new experience. And, and, and what like, type of training um, was that, asked Kalesa? 
Oh, just while we were with the training for the Silver Daggers. You know, uh, back, back in Waterdeep, we were, you know, training to be mercenaries and fighters and whatever else skills we've got. So just curious, um, other... So, Ward, do you asking for... It um... wasn't very exciting, I'll tell you that much. It was a lot of early mornings, a lot of hitting things with sticks, and a lot of... It was exciting of for me. ...disgusting food. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really much to tell. Um, Coletta says, uh, well, um, other quests, well, the only one we've got on the, um, on the beacon is, um, is the Bridgewater, sorry, the Barch right, <coughs> the Barch right in, um, just down the road, but, um, if you ask me, all the troubles in this area, they're all to do with that, um, that whole plague thing going on. Um, plague? Yeah, the plague. Um, the, oh, the, Oh, what's it? Um, actually, now I have to bring it up because the wrong thing opened, of course. We haven't heard about a plague before, right? <laughs> no. Uh, no, no, certainly okay. not. Can we fix a plague? Are we? Is, can level one fix a plague? <laughs> Are you talking I mean... about the arrow? Because we. No. <laughs> no, no, not the arrow. No, not the arrow. Maybe our cleric could, yeah. but he's in the corner T posing. <laughs> um. Where am I? There we go. I would like so to say. Can't minimize is... this thing down. Also there we go. Is, uh, drinking. She takes a few sips, makes a face, <laughs> and then takes more sips, and then makes another face. <laughs> it's not. Taking... <laughs> you're, you're so not used to drinking, are you? No. Robo has a little straw in the beer, so it's not to uh, mess anything on the beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Back to the straw, just to keep the beard tidy. So, some of the, some of the miners actually, um, some of the miners, some dwarves to... actually look at your direction at Robold. <laughs> and I'm just like uh, they yeah. get their beer what? up straight into their mouth and into their beard, <laughs> and then they have, and they sit their beer, set their beer underneath their beard so it drains out any that they've missed into the glass again. <laughs> 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 and they're just looking at you while doing this slowly. It's like, no. As they're milking their beards <laughs> for beer. Nah. I, I like, this, this doesn't, the big mug doesn't work with my sort of reptile mouth. So I'm just trying to drink it and it's spilling out the side and I just, maybe I bite it and I just kind of give up. <laughs> okay, I think you, I think you need a bowl. Actually, you know, I need one of those. What, what, what that sort of stick you suck it up through? What's the, one of those? I have an extra. You have another one. I give it to you. Ah, oh, brilliant. That that works. You have a crazy version of one of those? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I find so, them hard to make. So for for the straw, you be you probably make it out of uh, some reeds, like some hollow reeds, and use it from that, and that would be a yeah. functional version of a, a medieval straw. Um, so you're drinking it right away. Kles is, um, just starts rambling on about the plague and about this stuff, and she says, "Oh, there's some there's some evil um, out near the out near Lance Rock. Um, yeah, some some of the kids were out there, and um, they said that there was a sign about um, don't come near. There's a plague and whatnot. If, but if you ask me, that's where the problem is. That's what's going on." Um, but no one asked me, of course, and I'm she feigns she feigns the whole. But no one talks to no one asked me, and you just see some waiters wait start just shake their head as they walk past <laughs> behind her, as if that like everyone like she just tells everyone the same thing. If, um, if we were to play, nothing. Would I get a hundred and thirty gold? <laughs> Look, I, I'm I'm what just the innkeeper, but but if I if I give you if I give you 150 gold, then half of that then comes back to me, and it's just it's just confusing for the paperwork and for the for the books. Who so. pays in this town? <laughs> <laughs> six drinks in, he's starting to get a bit, <laughs> bit rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Orch, calm down. I just want to pay for my suit. 
<laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you want it's more fine, beer? Fine. You got three you weeks. Want... It's fine. There's loads of time. That's that's thirty days. That's an entire month. <laughs> yeah, to have to earn more money than you've ever earned before. I thought I had ten uh, days be. two days ago. <laughs> It just passes out on the table asleep. <laughs> well, I was gonna say something, but he's dead. It's, uh, <laughs> um. So, is there anything else you want uh, to I talk about or ask go. about? Or I dragged this one up to bed, but <laughs> no chance. <laughs> just leave me. Leave me. I, Can I? Is try? <laughs> um, I'm gonna let Revolt try first. We can both do it together, maybe. <laughs> no, I, I want to no. see you. Again. I want to oh. see you do it. A lot of confidence. So well I'll help. Come on, I'll Galinda just says, fine. "Just leave him here. We'll, we'll clean around him in the really? morning." Yeah, <laughs> clean around him. I'm, yeah. I'm not worried about the table. I'm worried about him. He's not gonna get a good night's sleep if he's like that. We need him in tip top yeah. shape. Yeah. We need to keep an eye we, on him. We can stuff herbs and up he, his and nose. If he, and if he, you know, if he vomits, he could like go around his mouth. He could choke. It's, you don't want that. Oh no, we're, we're through here all, all night. So if he vomits and has there's an issue, we'll just throw some water at him that'd to clean fine. him off. But oh yeah, because that'll help a drowning person throwing water on them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah to wash away the vomit, isn't it? <laughs> we could always ask the constable, but I don't even think they'll be able to pick him up to hang him up on the on their hooks. Oh, what? No, we'll not hanging up what? on the <laughs> I'm not... They could bring a cart. <laughs> how about, how about you splash him with water? Splash him with water now. We'll wake him up. We'll take him upstairs, and that'll be fine. That's a good idea. Fine, like, wake up. She, and she goes out the back. Hitting you on your head. She goes out the back and gets a bucket of water. Then oh. comes out and goes to goes to water and went. No, how about you do it? And she just stand <laughs> back. I can't. Gonna... Not, but I, you know, it's difficult for me. I'm small. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, but she, it, she's it, looking at his size and goes, Yeah. I'm going to take the water, I'm going to put it down on the counter, and I'm going to use stomaturgy. <laughs> and I'm going to oh. yell, Ward, we're under attack! Help! <laughs> With your thermaturgy? <laughs> you are in a packed in. <laughs> the music just stops. Um, <laughs> why, would, why would you yell that? What, what just wakes up? The music just stops. What? The Everyone just stops whoa, 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 and whoa, whoa, whoa. turns and looks. What? What's going on? Sorry. We're okay. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore that. Uh, Resume your uh, drinking. All is fine. Let's go. <laughs> do, I, do I need my axe? No. No, no we're you going need, to bed. You need rest. You need bed. Oh, okay. I'll just put my axe away. Can you walk? Can you walk? Can you go up? Can you walk upstairs? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And he just takes like a stumble. And he's like, uh, uh, I got it. Okay. I'm going to make sure he doesn't crush me by falling on me. <laughs> That's how we lose him. <laughs> come on, come on. I'll do it. And then I'll just put my hand on Kip's head to kind of stabilize myself. <laughs> You're having to lean down yeah. to do such, but yes, oh. you can do that. Uh, you need more height for this. <laughs> you need to not rest your weight on me. <laughs> Shit, I push him from behind. I'm watching this. I was having I'm fun. Of my drink before going. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> and that's how it goes up three flights of stairs to your <laughs> to your. Base of <laughs> operations. The stairs, I'll transfer my weight from Kip's head to like the staircase, <laughs> and, like drag myself up that way. It's Where's still. Kadan? <laughs> yeah, he's already asleep. Okay. Kadan went to sleep early to make sure all his robes are pressed properly and folded neatly <laughs> for the morning. But early morning prayers. Yes, uh, early morning uh, prayers. I'm just gonna crash on my gigantic bed that we assembled. Okay, uh, you need to make sure he's like got like lying on his side, and that the one leg's over, and he's got like his arm like this, 
So otherwise, again, it's, it's safety. You gotta be careful. Uh, I try and I try my very best to like before he falls asleep, help him position himself in that. Okay. You know, the, the uh, you're a nice position. tip. And I'm just gonna get into the position he suggests. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm too fucking small for this kind of shit. And I go. <laughs> And you're why does it hold the, why, do I, why do I need to be the one to have to move every- Ugh, oh, never mind. I go off to bed as well. Why is the vicious little kobold the voice of reason in this party? It has the best, <laughs> um, like, survival senses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But that's how it has ended up. So is there anything else- Yep. I'm trying very hard to be as little of a monster as possible. So I'm, I've got a point to prove. He, he's so holding back fine. the darkness. You, you're trying to be <laughs> as little no, as I'm possible. Not an edge it. <laughs> uh, it's not hard trying to be as little as possible. So anyway. I'm asleep. I'll go, and, I'll go and do some late night reading. So Ward's asleep. Um, Kip has gone for some reading, which is pretty much every night. It's a normal thing. Um, Robold, what are you up to? Oh, BS maintenance, obviously. <laughs> okay, yep. And this low grade muttering about how this is wrong and that one's fray and ooh, I need to yep. get oil there and blah, 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 blah. And, and plating it for the night to make sure it doesn't spray, splay. Yes. Yep. And what's so up to tonight? When everyone else is asleep. <laughs> when everyone else is asleep, what is so up for tonight? Music. Band, right? What was that, so? Oh, sorry. There's a band playing, right? Um, downstairs, um, there is music. It do doesn't go all night, but there is music. All right, I'm going to go up, uh, watch, listen to the band very closely, just sort of enamored with this new kind of music. I'm going to go and drink a pint bigger than she needs. Go upstairs and go, what's happening? Every Which room is mine? <laughs> let's go, let's go. My, my face hurts. I forget, I forget <laughs> whose rooms is whose again. Um, I think mine. Yeah, I think you share with Robold. Yeah. It's the two-bedroom yeah. one. I, I, th I thought um, the bottom bedroom was Ward's. Oh, the two-bedroom, the bottom bed was yeah, Ward. Yeah, room to himself. Yeah. And Kip slept with Ward. Did we just put my bed out? Yeah, like no, that was right, yeah. yeah. Biggie Smalls in a room. I, I, I can actually write it in if it helps. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. Thank you. I forgot. Does that mean all of you are cramming into this one room? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not um, everyone. Well, but... not. It's it's you and I share a room. Oh, okay. Ugh. The biggest and the smallest. Just need a little pet mm. bed for Kip. <laughs> <laughs> he just sleeps like a race dog bed. <laughs> a litter? No. You got the chest there, but that's mean. Um, gonna wake it on. You can make it I nice. Can... Push it down. Just push, push it down. <laughs> Sorry. Bad DM. <laughs> Sorry. Bad DM. Um, and so what else is So doing? Uh, I think I want to get in the wrong bed. Whose bed? I roll don't know. D4. <laughs> D4. Maybe you just roll. Yeah. You can roll. Yeah, I have you guys numbered, so it's... Oh, we're, we're just really? numbers to so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gee, thanks. All right, two was one. Pickpocket, uh, one, two, four. three, and four. Ward? No, oh, it's probably plenty of room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sort of, as you walk in, I'm just like, what the f... <laughs> you, you're next door, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna climb, like, legit have to climb into Ward's bed and just pass out. 
So, so as, as, uh, as Kip's yelling at you, you're just, just okay. totally oblivious. You climb up Ward's bed, because it's actually quite large, because it's an almost giant-sized bed. Um, it's very ornate, but, but the scroll work along the sides actually helps you get into the bed easily. You climb totally over his face, dragging <laughs> yourself over his face. And then you get onto the other side of him, which seems to be much more comfortable for you. And pull Ward's arms around you to cuddle you up and and get yourself comfortable. And that's what it's like living with an autistic child. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Um, <laughs> that's my goblin every well, most mornings. Um, well, that's a bad timing. Uh, how about I pick a time? That's not now. I just had a... What? Hmm? <laughs> a restart schedule. Let's try to do that tomorrow. Oh! And I'm not streaming. Uh, whoops! And it was on the stream itself. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it one of those ones that you can't... Which I can't do anything about, but I have to say something. So give me a moment. Take your time. Um, yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Right on the main screen, um, and then onto the other. But anyway, so the rest of the evening is uneventful. The music dies down. The revelry it dies back. down. Um, I've actually got to find the music to actually stop it. There we go. Um, so in the morning, Ward wakes up nice and early. So um, no, Kadan wakes up nice and early. And he's doing his morning prayers. He's in nice pressed outfits. Um, he's very chirpy, as he generally is. Kip, do you want to describe your mood in the morning when there's a lot of snoring going on? Not just from uh, one, I but two. I, yeah, I probably just sort of like wake up, just kind of like. Actually, no, I'd probably be used to this because. No, back in the back in the coven, not coven. Um, coven. back in. <laughs> uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? No, um, pack. Yeah, whatever. It was all very tight quarters, very much cheek by jowl sleeping. So it's probably used to it. So I probably just wake up quite early, just kind of head off downstairs to get something to eat. Yep. Not too perturbed. Normal fare is always. Um, everything's being cooked on the on the barbecues and ovens outside. So it's nothing great. I didn't really drink much. I, I didn't really drink much because I thought the human sort of stuff was disgusting. Or I don't even know what that was. <laughs> no, and it's not your style. Um, Robold, anything in the morning? I feel fantastic, of course. My beard looks wonderful. Yeah. So you spend the morning grooming. Day. Uh, yeah. okay. And getting everything into place and. Apparently he's a person. Combed, oiled. Uh, yes, yes. Um, Ward, in the morning, um, you hear a um, some <sighs> tunes going on. Um, you just, you, you don't really understand what's going on. And you just hear some, like, some singing um, close to you. It's more humming than anything. Then you hear, roll over, roll over. And you feel f something in your gut pushing you hard. What? As 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 so, he's just singing to herself and doing the whole three in the bed. Like, and the little one said, "Well," and she's trying to push you out of the bed. Um, and that's how you wake up to the morning. What? So why are you in? Did I sleep in the wrong bed? Roll over, roll over. I don't. I don't want to roll over. This is my bed, right? And I just around. It, it is your bed. It is your giant size bed, yes. So, my bed now. why are you here? Uh, I don't like sleeping alone. Don't you share a room with at least two other people? Uh, yes, I do. There's probably a good reason for why I'm in here. Is that the reason? I don't know it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll believe you. And I'm just gonna, like, get out of my side of the bed really confused. 
and just wonder what the hell happened last night. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I'm gonna skip out. So yeah. you don't have a hangover, but you're still a bit uh, in the morning. Both of you are pretty. Uh, I don't know if So yeah. could actually feel a hangover because she's always so bright and bubbly. You don't really have. You don't really have Goliath constitution. No. So, so with a hangover is basically. <laughs> no one talked. <laughs> no one talked to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, or she is positively smiling through it, like with clenched teeth. <laughs> we'll go with that option. <laughs> Let's get to the next story! <laughs> um, so, so um, yeah, breakfast is, as I said, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, the food in this place has been bad every single time you've eaten here. Um, hey, it works for me. It, it, it's, it's edible, it's just not great. Um, and it's pretty much the same barbecue style, everything. And there's a lot of um, poultry as well um, on the menu. Um, especially in the mornings. You don't know why. Um, but yeah, so you have the day to yourselves if you're not going to pick up the idea. Or so you're not going to pick up the, um, um, the job down in Red, well, so first, Bridgewater? Or? First thing I'm... First thing I want to do is I want to go back to the forge and pick up my yeah. armor, which yeah. has been upgraded. Yeah. So your um, armor is there. The the forge, as you get closer, they're ringing. They're still going. They're working nonstop. Um. Um. Yeah, you get a feeling that um, those fires are, are constantly on every single night, um, and you wouldn't want to live near them. But um, where are we? Um. Leifra, Leifra, um the smith's wife actually um, gives you the everything and shows you what was done over the night and um, speaks yeah. to you about everything. Um, she's very proud of her husband and her children's work. It is it is remarkable. It's really well done. And it's it's great because it's still it's still the same old armor that I've always had, just better. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. So the the what they've done is they've put some um, small little plates on the inside, um, and the studs come through to hold the plates in in place, which is the studded leather. Mm, so, wonderful. Yeah. It's also oh. sometimes known as brigandine leather or brigandine armor, but with larger plates usually. Um, Very nice. He does. She does also say that the other one should be done. Um, about mid afternoon, um, uh, you have companions. You're about the Goliath's um, no, no, Kadan's one. No. Kadan's um, yes. Okay, yes, I will tell him. Yes, the other stuff is leather. Yeah. Um, and she bids you good day, and um, you can see in the back, um, the whole family's once again working hard. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll throw in an extra silver as like a, a tip, just to be so, thank you. You've done such a good job. Here's something extra. Yeah. She thanks you very much and um, ask and um, yeah, welcomes you back anytime you need some work done. Yeah. I have that. Yeah. Anything else going up in the morning? Um, I'm just gonna ask. I'm assuming it's just Robold and So with me because I don't know Kadan and Kippa. Yeah. Are we going to go investigate the plague or are we going to go to the inn? Because I need money. I put myself in debt. I don't think the plague's going to pay because no one said, hey, check out the plague. We'll give you like 40 gold. No, uh, but there is gold promise for the uh, Bar Tried Inn. I think let's try the inn first and then on our way back we can do a quick investigation of yeah. the plague. The inn is actually a couple days journey too. So I should bring up the map so you guys can see. I don't think you've seen the big map. So it may take a little bit to load. Oh, no. I saw the map that has like Lance Rock and stuff on it. Is that the big map? Yeah, no, that's the small map. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're, talk, we're, we're getting you off, the, off into the big blue yonder. So just ignore that one. <laughs> just ignore yeah. the one. Yeah. It's all black. There we go. Oh, no, I've got so many maps here. There we go. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, that is a big map. That's a big map. Hey. I'll find where we are. Yeah. 
So we are in Redlock here, and Bridgewater is down here. Whoa! Um, for some reason, it looks like they've put it on, been put on. Yep, they have been. Give me a moment. Yeah, it's blank. There we go. Naked. Hey, whoa! Look at that. Red. To map layer. Ooh. Sorry about that. Um, for some reason, a standard all the things are put on. Um, GM layer. Yeah. I can't. Okay, I won't touch that for the moment. So we're heading down this way. Yes. And where's the plague supposed to be? That's just around Red Lock, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Okay. So I'm just trying if, to. If, if, if the play is nearby, there's no reason to say we can't do that now, and um, so we can always just come come back to town if there's any problems, and then sort of head out later when we're because it'd be a long journey. So we should do the one closer first, and then. Uh, that's much first. of a muchness, yeah. It's <laughs> much of a. <laughs> it is. <laughs> if you do it now and then the other one, I do the other one now and the other one. Like it doesn't matter. Do we know what's going on at the inn? What's their issue? Yeah. No, it's no, just there. just as a paid job. Because I feel like a plague is more pressing. <laughs> <laughs> but are we doing this that because we well, want depends. to help people? Or are we doing this because we want money? We want Why do those two need to be mutually exclusive? Because right now, that's what we're deciding. Do we want money or do we want to help? Because we don't know if we're going to get money from helping. We do know we're going to get money from money. <laughs> I feel like a plague is going to have some type of witch person thing. So maybe they've got money. No, we, we can if lose we're a lot. heroes, yeah. maybe people will just throw money at us as we come into the streets. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if it's a witch in a hut, then she's going to be a poor witch, and there's no sense robbing a poor witch. If she has a castle, she might have money. If she's got a castle, we're not good enough to fight her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not yet. Could be an inherited castle. I think we should do the end just because that's some solid money and do the thing on the way back. On the other hand, it doesn't help if you don't do anything about the plague, then we come back and everyone has died of it. Oops. Yeah, that is, that a is also true. But how are we going to fix a plague? We we investigate uh, it, and then we get Kadan to do stuff. Burn the source yeah. of your uncle. Where is Kadan? I, I think he said something about his clothes aren't clean enough, and he went to go get them more cleaned. He's going yeah. to starch himself out of existence, that boy. It's bizarre. Because uh, now, now you can see a bit more oh. of the map. I've yeah. Because okay. isn't Redlark kind of like our home for a while? Yeah. If everyone dies of a plague, I feel like we failed our job, and then we have no home. It's what our home we... base? I mean, Redlark. I think had... okay. I think while I think while Kadan's busy. We should probably do the inn because I think he'd be the best person to handle the plague. I don't know what I can. I can't stab a plague to death, so I don't know. Uh, I can't mm. smash a plague into bits. I, I can't steal a plague. I can I get a plague. Make the plague worse. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are helpful in this situation. <laughs> My point exactly. So yeah, let's do the inn first. Let's okay. do the inn. So I'm Are we going to wait for Kadan to get back or um, drag him with us? I'll say he comes with. Okay. But he's. Okay. Because this may take more than one session. Just as a. Oh, my brother's so dead at Red Light. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you guys just. <laughs> yeah, things take a bit longer when you do so much role playing. So I'm just going. I'm... One more, and then we're done. And now, most of the things are you're visible to you guys. On said map, hey. um, which is really annoying that they put everything on the background. <laughs> like, well, so I yeah, you're just assuming that you don't have like an actual map, so you don't know what things look like. But you're also from the area, so you know the basics around the area. Mm. Bomford. 
Yeah. Um, oh, I- after seeing this on a map for so long, it's nice to actually go to places. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. So the journey to bridge, war, bridge riding will take about two and a half days. Okay. Um, which means rations if you don't have them. Take a look. Wait. Have a look. Uh, I, got a I, go, I got enough. Yeah. I don't know if I have rations. I don't know if I can... We all started off with 10. So... Did we? Did Some we? Well, I mean, for the Some people did. Kit, Unless you didn't choose one that has rations. Yeah, some people did that too. I've got eight, so I can share my food if anyone needs. I got Yay! seven, so I can do the same. Sharing is caring. Of course. Sharing um, is caring. How many comes in an explorer's pack? I think I um, go to the information huh? pack. Oh wait, Th- that information. Explorers. You get today's rations. There we go. Oh. There we go. Thank you. All right. So I think between all of us, we can cover so being able to eat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have. I didn't, they didn't, I didn't think I'd need rations. Oh, so I you said didn't think you need <laughs> No, I thought I, I never had to worry about it. Food was just always there. People just gave me food. Where did you live? At a house, at a home. Must have been nice. Yeah, I never got food just given to me. Well... Technically, you did by your um, by your mother. <laughs> Would you classify that as food, though? <laughs> you did at one stage. I now I know better. <laughs> food was brought to me if I was good, but if I was bad, I had to skip a few meals. Oh no! What a disaster that must have been. <laughs> it was. Mm. No so bread. Can you imagine That's that? A so- life without so uh, bread. Yeah. Oh, to be honest, yes. Hard. Yes, I can imagine that, actually. Your life the was worst scary. was when the servants were sick and you had to go out and make, get your own toast. Right? Right? It's so bad. It's so bad. You don't. You have Always no idea how hard it is. Hold on, hold on. If we're living with rich people, why are we adventuring? <laughs> yeah, well, why... <laughs> Yeah, that's a good question. What are you doing here if you've got oh, everything no. taken care of? Apparently? My family. Was Where you've got everything you could honest. ever want, so why do this? I can't go back. At least not for right now. I found them well, a tad. Really. But for now, here's some food. <laughs> <laughs> next time, you have a... You have a bow and arrow next time. You can hunt some yourself. But for now... I guess I'll take pity on your poor, poor soul. Aww. I've lived such a hard life, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> this, just, one I... time, this one time. I'm, I'm leaving. My... I'm, I've already <laughs> <laughs> I'm gone. This one time, my favorite servant broke her leg on the way to get me what I wanted. <laughs> and I had to do my own. <laughs> I can't even finish my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna walk after with Kit. <laughs> I don't know what they're on about. No, um, I don't idea. It doesn't really matter though. So, Kip, um, yeah, inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> just, just total, yeah. Um, nice. and, and and Ward as well from from last night's um, drinking. Although that doesn't encourage drinking, um, so there are <laughs> Twitch guidelines. I, will, I just have to say, no, no, yeah. Um, Watch your limits, kids. <laughs> yes, responsibility. Um, service announcement. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yes. Uh, <laughs> ever since you chose that character name, I, I now say oh, it more okay. often. Ah. Uh, 
Um, in the afternoon, um, early afternoon, the last of the armor or Kadan's armor is ready and you're able to head out. Are you going to get any further rations for yourselves or do you think you have enough? Well, clearly not. If it's an inn, they'll have food. Duh. Yeah, but they're not going to teleport there. It's a journey. It's going to take a long time. You're going to have to walk. Are you familiar with that or what you carry throughout your entire life as well? No, I wasn't allowed to be touched for your information. God, I can't imagine why. <laughs> it was because they were afraid they would catch the tiefling. Hmm. Catch the tiefling? I thought you were human. I am human. Okay. But I got sick with the tiefling. The tiefling. I'm getting conflicting messages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am a hundred percent human, and my tail's gonna swish behind me all happily. Uh, can I do an insight check? <laughs> yeah, you can do an insight check to Is see if she's crazy or not. Uh, oh, you can wow. do an insight check, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she has no oh, idea. Um, do you think wow. that? Well, you are positive actually that she's totally telling the truth. Um, which is probably one of the few times she's ever told the truth. <laughs> Poor robot. You, you, yeah. <laughs> you think that she is 100% telling the truth. For once. That's amazing. In the six months that you've known her. <laughs> this is my first truth. It's like playing the game. Two truths, one lie. But instead it's a lie, a lie, a lie, a lie, a lie, a lie, a truth, a lie, a lie, a lie, a lie. <laughs> Yeah, after six months, that's that's the first one, maybe. Oh God! Um, Not true. My, my name, my name is So. As, as for this group of people, yes. Um, <laughs> so you head out. Yeah, which is good, yeah. Are you heading out in the afternoon after the armor's ready, or waiting another? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Mm. Right. Let's just get out of here. Right. So you head out in the afternoon. Um, as you're heading out, there's other wagons coming through because it's the car. The car road is actually not as busy as the long road, but there's still oh, a lot of business between Barge Ride Inn and. We still have the road. wagon that we stole. Um, you can use the wagon if you wanted, but um, no. Do you remember the wagon that we saved and like we brought it with us? Oh. If yeah, you we still have that. If you do want it, they will charge you for um, um, for stabling. We have a community fund. We can just put the community fund towards the animals. Oh, well, if, if we, we want to do that, it, we don't have to pay for it. Can't we yeah. just use Ward? <laughs> and who's going to drive it? Ward, can uh, get it back uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Go Ward. <laughs> yeah. I, I was just an idea. If we don't want it, I'm happy to walk. I mean, that it works Maybe for me. Just... Yeah. I want to be carried. The trust here, it might might be uh, better to maybe pay out some money and get a cart. Oh, you're just mad because you were poor. Poor people are always so mad all the time. Like, stop being poor. That's why you stop being mad. <laughs> How much is it to, for the stabling fee? Um, the stabling is going to be two um, silver a day. Um, and you actually down um I'm almost to so you you're down almost two gold for the stabling oh do we want to pay that or forget it exists <laughs> no, you're in debt <laughs> it's okay it we have we have a community <laughs> fund we can use that because it's for all of us so okay. that'll come out of the community fund that's what it's there for yeah. who's in charge of that <laughs> Kadan. Kadan. Who's not here? Who's not here? Okay. <laughs> so, do we, all right, hold on. We've got six gold pieces, seven silver pieces, and five gold. Yeah. So, it'll be um, um, trying to work out the cost. Um, one sil so six silver, one gold. Does this mean we get to name the cows? Bullocks, but yes, Bullocks if you too. wish to. I want to name my. I want to name the left one, and I want to name the left one. I, I I don't know why, but yeah. I want to name the left one. Its name is going to be Reginald. 
Oh. What are, what's the other one? What's it look, what do these horses look like? They're not horses, they're bullocks. They're like oh, they're oh bullocks. Balls. Yeah. They I'll look like the... That one? Yeah. That's Mrs. Tinkles. Put it in the journal. Name them. Oh, God. Just, yep. If you're going to name them, put it in the journal so everyone knows what they are and who no they are. No one's Now we're going to get attached. <laughs> 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 um, the, the rear of the... Um, the rear of the wagon though is a large cage large solid cage that's affixed to the wagon the and it's it broken? got a broken it's door a I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's got a broken door do you want to do something okay. fun yeah <laughs> do you, you want to do something really fun <laughs> why do i feel what? like to put kip in the cage? if we put kip in the cage and <laughs> No, okay, no, that's it. No, shut up. Let's go. No, no, it's going to be fun. But this sounds like a good idea. Put Kip in the cage. I'm sure you would be much happier. It's what you're usually fun, isn't it? You people. <laughs> well, calm down, everyone. I am no. going to be the voice of reason. Oh, hell. <laughs> you can all get in the cage and sit there and I'll drive at the front. No one's getting in the cage. Let's go. We have a job to do. Who's going to drive this? I'll do it because uh, I can't yeah. fit anywhere hey, else. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, um, no, no, listen. If Kip gets in the cage, he can, we can say, oh no, he broke loose and he jumps out and like we put like some foam in his mouth to make it look like he has <laughs> and scare everybody. You're not going to use my shaving cream. Aww. No. But besides I would say, I mean, uh, just the entire wagon. How big is the cage? Um, it's big enough to hold a bear. Um, yeah. As in the entire back I'll of the my wagon. I'll do best to drag it off the thing and just chuck it, it on it's the side of the road. It's affixed to it. it. It's actually solely affixed to it, so uh, large animals don't actually just uh, do the exact same thing you're trying to do. Can I try and break it into little pieces so we can get rid of it? Um, so you spend the morning Afternoon. out the back of the inn Six with the time. with the wagon, with hammer and axe and hammer and axe if all it's morning. Take that long, then let's not. It's fine. But you can remove it, and so you can remove it. It'll take like you get looked upon, um, and you're making a heck of a racket. But you kind of chop it off and you just sit it there and the stableman is like um now what am i supposed to do with it and she the scrap metal melt it down make the whole some chicken. Shit. i don't know so the back of the the back of the the wagon what used to be the cage um you can still see it sticking up like about that much on the edges so you've got like little crenellations around the back <laughs> of the wagon but it's now a flatbed essentially okay now everyone get in the wagon and let's go so it's essentially in australia it'd be called a ute or um an su uh, suv in america Wait, you guys can fit in that. that's fine yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the edges are quite sharp it's um, the fence yeah like a picket fence with sharpness yeah, so if anyone tries to cool. climb in, they get stabbed. It's perfect. <laughs> uh, if that's what you think. So you head out. Um, as you say, get there's, with the heads of our enemies. Uh, as you're leaving town, people are actually looking at your wagon a little bit, and uh, curiosity, and about you also now leaving town in that wagon, and um, you're starting to get a bit more curious looks around. Before they didn't know what to say, what to think about you, and then. It's a bit more of a wave, um, like curiosity. <laughs> as, as we drive the bars. Um, and on the road, most of the, most of the traffic, almost all of the traffic actually, is going towards you back to town. Um, and that's how the, the day ends with every, like all the, day, all, the tr all the traffic's against you. Um, and you get a few miles out of town um, in the wagon. Um, you also can find a nice little spot to camp as you're going through it's about an, about this distance you're starting to see actual camp spots along the actual road itself 
Um, so there's a camp spot about half a day's journey out, um, or a few of them, um, and you'd, ex you'd expect that um, as this is a, a well well carted road, that it'll be about the same about every half day, or every few hours there'll be a, another few campsites, um, well used campsites as well. Um, so you set up shop, uh, set up for camp, um, and. Um, Sorry, yep. sorry. I wanted to open the chat, but it opened the the volume as well. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine does the same. I have to. Yeah. So, are we about here now? I wasn't on that map, but um, I did see that ping come through. Um, about here. That's wrong. No wrong map. I just flicked to the wrong map for myself. So many maps. Yeah, about there. That's about right. Yep. Okay. Quick, uh, quick uh, okay. question. Yep. Uh, you said while we're camping there, other carts are coming in to camp, right? No. Um, throughout the day, all the carts are going the other direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, but when you yes. go, but where you are is a um a spot where there've been a lot of um, campsites before. So there's no one camping there right now. No, no one for I'm you to roll. Steal. <laughs> <laughs> Let me steal. Darn it! <laughs> I could get you that 150 gold. <gasps> I'm not stopping you. <laughs> no. Trying to find a. So and... I'm assuming it's about night time now. Yeah, about night time now. Shall we just go the um, the the watch rota rota that we did last time? Yep, that's in the journal. I think I'm somewhere. <laughs> the journal needs like subheadings. Um, so it goes so Robold Kip me Kadan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I and it's really tons of fun staring at a dark road and I don't know what to do <laughs> I wish this song made sense but it doesn't oh well do you say I wish this song ends but it doesn't get into my ears oh. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not a song about me I don't care Oh, Robo, ah. he had a beard. It was so human. It took over his face and killed his family, and everybody ended up dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The first one. <laughs> yep. So I just got to try to get the. I'm just building a map right here. Yeah. It's been a while since I had to build one. Yep. That only a mother could love. He's really ugly and sharp and stupid, and I really don't like traveling with him. <laughs> Ford is my best friend. I like him a lot. I can't wait to teach him how to steal so he can get in trouble for things I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds more like Ward is like a lap dog than a friend. <laughs> a passy. Passy. I don't even know what I am to anyone here. It's, it's oh. a very confusing setup. I like Kip. Oh. Robo like loves Kip. He thinks it's adorable that he's trying so hard to be better than the race he was born into. You say that uh, out that loud. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't I think like something like that would be said out loud. Secret. Such... <laughs> yeah, but if you say that out loud... But he really mm. does admire you. It just sounds like such a bad thing. So I'm just moving your maps. There we oh. go. Ooh, yeah, just enough things. i got too many maps to have to scroll ah. through. There we go. So there's our campsite. I was just saying, the map is the sort of the spooky place. I was like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. And, and I don't have it as like automatically just um, play that music, that spooky, yeah. That I should have. 
Um, but this is this is your campsite. This is what I mean by there's regular campsite locations throughout the yeah. time. Um, uh, and sorry, we'll use, so yes? what did you name the ox, ox, uh, bollocks again? Uh, the, one is named Reginald and one is named Miss Twinkles. Tinkles. Tinkles. Is that right, Tinkles? I, I, yeah, Mrs. I saw her pee on somebody's shoe. Yeah, it's a male though. It's yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> Miss Tinkles. Okay, got it. Um, so Can this I is... Need... Sorry. Uh, I was just going to say this is where you, this is the campsite that you've got. Um, so the first order was, I think, so. Yeah. yeah. There we go, and then we've got some darkness for you. Oh man! Thank you. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing things, <laughs> but it's not nice fun. Level two. Level two. Yeah. Level two. More than all of you. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you want me to throw out another ink cake at you, do you? No. Yeah, sure. No! <laughs> Especially with Akadad. One that's <laughs> blind and only has one leg. <laughs> like a... We decimated the first one, but only because we... That didn't get to act. <laughs> it did not get to act. I don't know why Kadan's low on health. Kadan's actually sleeping in the wagon at this point. Okay. That's I'm going to sleep resting against... Because he doesn't want to be sleeping on the dirt. <laughs> There we go. Um, so the first watch is so, I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. And okay. I'm coming up with all sorts of fun songs to the melody that I heard last night. <laughs> uh, Silver daggers took so, all my money. I'm gonna be mad when I get back. <laughs> and if I stab them, if I really uh, On the first watch, nothing happens. Oh, thankfully, yeah. she's just singing. <laughs> yeah, apart, apart from the singing all night, all watch long. Who is on the second watch? I am. Gonna, and what are you doing for your second watch? I am patrolling there. Oh. Yeah, a bit wider than last time. The robot actually like there. does watch properly. He goes on like patrols and stuff. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I have to protect my most fervent admirers, do I not? Yeah, well, last time you did this, we got attacked. So... <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> no, but it, it's work. Um, so you patrol about that, that, I'm assuming, that area around, so yeah, that you'd be going around. all the way out to here as well, yeah. and out to there. Yes. And, yeah. I can't even see her. <laughs> and down to the south as well. Um, yes. yes. Well, you shouldn't be able to see it because you're sleeping. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> um, nothing happens on your watch. <laughs> okay. And the next, would you like to go back Is to the campfire Kip. where you're sleeping? Back to there. Who's next? Is Kip. Kip. Me. And what are you doing for your watch? Having learned from last time, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to patrol around, sort of, around this sort of area. Yep. Just keeping an eye out. Okay, um, can you do a perception? Oh man. Yeah, you sure can do. Ooh, that's only an eight. Keep moving then. D don't do it, it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stop there though. No, go and do a perception again about there. Okay. <laughs> um, right. Second time's the charm. Ten. <laughs> I'm giving you bonuses. I'm just gonna do a roll here. Nothing's nothing to worry about. Don't worry. <laughs> nothing to see. <laughs> Famous. Oh, that's <laughs> no worry. Plus. Yeah. Uh, uh, ten wouldn't Top have been okay, but I'll, <laughs> I'll actively roll here just to see. Um. What did that come out as? Wow. As, as you get up close, you see underneath the bushes. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Oh, and he's no. not looking at you. What's that? Oh. I can't even see it. <laughs> I can see it. And he's not looking at you. Can I see where he's looking at? Oh, hello. The campfire. 
you came up beside him. He's not looking at you, he's looking at the campfire and the prey. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, as soon as I see him, I'm gonna immediately sort of look out and see if there's any others. Um, you can do a perception check. Yes, this please. is your third, but... But now, I'm, I'm, instead of like, sort of just general sky, I'm just looking for others. Or yep. to double click. That's okay. Oh. Um, you, nice. Yeah, the second one wasn't, isn't counted. Yeah. Just the first uh, one. I double clicked by accident. Yep. So um, you don't see any others. <laughs> um, oh. And can I get a stealth check? Sure. Make sure you're <laughs> five foot away. He's not looking at you, but you're still five foot away. And he's about your size. Fourteen. <laughs> you are not having a good time. He may be having good time. to all of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he still did not detect you. Oh, for God. Um, so I'm just going to quickly change this. I hate always wild advantage on all these monsters. There we go. Um, so he's, you're still there. He has not even noticed you. And you're like five foot away. What did you want to do? I... I'm going to slowly... Take out my scimitars and just, I'm going to try, I'm just going to try and take him out quietly. Okay. Like I'm going to go, I'm going to go for the throat. So it cuts off like his, his vocal cords before he can like howl out or yelp. Yep. Uh, because he, because he can't see me do a roll with advantage. You will roll an advantage. Yes. Yes. Uh, and if you're a rogue, you'd also get sleek attack and everything else that goes with. 16? Nine slashing. If it hits. A 16 hits. Yeah. Nine slashing damage. They're just sort of like, I come up behind him and I just try and quickly, like, like, like a, like, like a slaughtering in the butchers. I try and just cut his throat really quick so he doesn't make a sound. You hear a yelp, though, from it. Um, it's not killed. I'm not actually saying what it is because Ward can't even see. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Ward can see this dead, far. I'll, I'll quickly get it with my other, with my with my offhand. Yep. And I'm guessing it's seen me now. Well, it's about to be initiative. I've got the initiative turn order up, so yeah. Oh, that is a modified twenty. Yep. You you, you, you finish nine. it off. Um, there's only wow. that short little yelp. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, I can put away the initiative order. He's the only one who gets All experience. Right. <laughs> I'm not going to give out experience per creature. Wait, do I roll initiative? No, there's, no, no as far as you know, you've killed the only monster. You haven't seen any others. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to try and quietly go back. Yep. So steadily. So I'll use the same stealth. The yep. Dave. Yep. Probably awakes it. There's something in the there's something in the bushes. I killed one. There might be more. We need to be careful. We might be about to be jumped. I get my axe ready. Go wait. Go wait. The others. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. I go wake up Ward first. Oh, um, Bobby. What? Yeah, shh, shh. Oh, what's Maybe. going on? <laughs> Maybe it's that. Excitement. Oh. It's ready. That's one and then I go wake up, so. <laughs> I don't want to go to the horn star today. Do you want to get attacked today? Yeah. Uh, we do? Yeah, come on. It's something. It's good. Uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> That's all. <Yeah>. Pull her up. <laughs> oh, I so, just doing dynamic Ooh. lighting here. Oh god, everything in the back corner just went black. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's the, the cart's oh blocking god, the good. firelight. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. The cart's blocking the firelight. That's disturbingly us. realistic. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, oh my god. Kadan. I can't even see Kadan. Where's Kadan? Kadan's in there. Don't worry about that. Kadan's <laughs> um, fine. Yeah. I shouldn't be moving my character so, around, but like moving no, around. 
This makes it I'm going to move yeah. away from the campfire and just sort of into the darkness a little bit. Yeah. Oh, um, just move over here close to the bollocks. Yeah. I'm going to stay in right Actually, room. no, I want to stick with the party. Sorry, I'm, I've changed my mind. I'm going to move back. I'm going to go over here and go into stealth. Right next to the fire? No, I meant right uh, <laughs> next to these trees. Okay. Uh, let me roll the stealth for you. So at the moment, there's a lot. Of, I just love the whole. Um, everyone's. Um. Like going to stealth I'm mode. Hide. I'm gonna hide behind you, behind the cow. Um. Okay. Be so. With this, um. I'll I'll start here. So you got your stealth roll, Mars. Um. Mm -hmm. So is hiding in the trees and the rocks. Um, a few people are hiding and what's it not. Um, where Ward, um, as you try to hide um, behind the bullocks, um, you hear the bullocks wake um, with a start, and that's where the initiative order is. Um, and that's where I'm going. Well, <laughs> I'll, ask you, I'll actually ask you for a um, perception check as well from you. Ah, oh, you never have good initiative. <laughs> I, why did that roll twice? That's weird. I don't know. I'll take a 17. Are we rolling initiative? Um, yeah. I was going to do about as roll ball. As <laughs> usual, I'm going, to, I'm going to spend my inspiration point for this. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you know what? Me too. I'm fine. Oh. I mean, oh, it didn't, it didn't do that. Um, no, it doesn't actually do it, but I'll allow, I allow it. Oh, sorry. Because that's just me. Yeah, no, it was a uh, 19. Yep. So, Kip's 19 now. Oh, Robold. <laughs> but can I, but oh, first, yeah. most important is, can I get a initiative from Ward? Also, not initiative, a perception from Ward. Yeah, I'd roll the 17. Oh. Yeah, I'll give it because of the location, what? but only because of location. Um, behind here, can you see? I cannot see a thing. Okay. <laughs> um, I that's because the, that's the dynamic lighting getting in the way, but I'll fix that in a moment. Um, And I'll just move that from here. Now, can you see? Oh. <laughs> As I said, I for location. <laughs> oh no. Um, That's why you turned on the dynamic shadow. <laughs> yeah. I um, went here because I thought it was safe. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to roll initiative, but then. That's because it didn't pick up properly. The initiative is actually 15, no matter what this rolls. Oh, uh, rolled 15 bollocks. anyway. Yep. I'm so um, dead. <laughs> but you're right there. You're right there. And oh, it is wow. your, it's So's initiative first. So hasn't seen them yet. Uh, Can I scream? <laughs> Do I see them? Ward has seen them. Um, so has not. Uh, I'm gonna roll perception to see if I, I mean, can see what's going does on. Does Ward yep. scream out when he sees these? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah does Ward scream? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This was scream. <laughs> the Ward screams. Does that alert me to what it you is? You can do old perception. Yeah. I, I have no idea what it is. I can't properly see it. I just hear a token. Why did I roll twice? <laughs> I don't know, but your perception of 22. Um, you don't know what Ward is screaming at. You don't know why Ward would see what you see, but um, you don't know why Ward would see this down here. What is what? Wait, wait. <laughs> wait. Oh. oh, come Everybody on. Everybody gets their own wolves <laughs> in the pack. We're going to die. So... Yeah, but that's what that's what you can see. I mean, the perception was my action, right? 
Um, no, I'll allow you to do that as I, um, to see what's Reaction. there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to, let me check my distance on my short bar real fast. It's inside distance. Okay, it's in my standard distance. Yeah. So, I'm going to use my short bow and try to, somebody. Yep. So, is that with a sneak attack? Would that yeah, work? Yes. Oh, you're in hiding. Yes, yeah. sure. Sorry. Uh, I forgot to add my sneak attack. No, it's oh, there. No, I didn't. It did add it. I think. Oh, nice. That's nice oh, damage. So Which one damage. was it? It was going to be this puppy right here. This one. It won't let me ping it. Why won't it let me ping? Left puppy. Top one. Okay. Oh, he did. Not by much, though. Yeah, he did. Not by much at all. Am I still in sneak? Um, yes, I'm still going to keep that same stealth, but every time you fire, there's, it's going to be reduced. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, anything else you want to do? Uh, no. Okay. Kip, you have uh, not I seen those ones yet, but you know soldiers fired into the bushes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of head down to see what she fired at, and then I presume I see these wolves here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll run up and attack. <laughs> do what I do best. First one. Twenty-four. Wow. Um, have you got advantage on that? Well, because I'm next because of pack tactics, and I'm next to Kadan. Kadan's asleep. <laughs> oh, is he asleep? Yes. Oh. He's dead. Damn it. Well, still 20. Oh, let me re-roll that then. No, well, we still get 20. 20 hits. 20, okay. Yeah. Um, six. And then offhand. Oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> So, would you like to describe your failure with your offhand? Cut the um, I run up and I... <laughs> I slash at the first one, and I, I bring up this. I bring, so I slash down with the first one, and I bring up my other one, and I get stuck in a wheel spoke. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, I yank it out, sort of break a bit of the wheel. <laughs> it's your card. If you want to break the wheel, it's up to you. Well, it was an out one, so I got to do something. Yeah, I know. I know. No, I don't. I don't. I don't have lasting consequences for naturals. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Ward. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Um, if I move, they're getting an attack of opportunity, aren't they? Yes. Okay. I'm going to cast Armor of Agathus, because shit's going to get real. And then... Oh, yeah. uh, if I cast that, I don't get my... Can't be uh, the safe bet. Safe bet. Uh, so you get temporary then, hit points. Yep. So I got my five extra hit points, and I'm just gonna put my axe in front of me in like a defensive stance because I can't do anything else. <laughs> yep. But you're not actually taking the dodge action because you've taken an, object, yeah, an action to cast. Yep. Okay. How he's standing. Yep. And then, that's my turn. Bring it on, wolves! <laughs> oh boy, here we go. He's doing um, this to me because I said I never got hit. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did place yourself right where they were. I um, assume the other Like, direction. right where they were. <laughs> 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 um, and how, how the map was said is that, like, there was one at the top which you spotted, and you moved your... You moved... Kip moved right next to it. I was like, oh, crap. Um, oh, another spot. But the, all the others were down the bottom. And that's kind of why I did the realistic lighting. Is like, well, realistically, yeah, the cart is blocking the uh, fire. For a bonus action, can I just yell to Gadan to wake the hell up? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's the only one that can heal. You can, but whether Gadan, he wakes up Gadan, or not Gadan, depends wolves, on if you get go down. <laughs> Let your god guide you. <laughs> <laughs> he's resting in peace. Kelvin is guarding him. So, first one. Yes. On ward. Yep. Frigate. 
Um, and this isn't accidentally on advantage either. This is deliberately on advantage. Oh no, it's pack tactics. Pack tactics, yeah. 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 Um, so that's a 19 to hit. Yep. For seven damage. <laughs> Okay, well, he also takes five frost damage. Because <laughs> yep. of armor. And then... Alright, cool. Yep, yeah, I'm on two. Oh, what this? Second <laughs> attack. <laughs> I'm going down. With advantage, pack tactics. He's eight. Eight? Eight damage. Doesn't that oh. just straight up kill me? Well, like you... Two. And then six. Oh no. <laughs> so you go to unconscious. Yep. 100%. Yeah, they go. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> Why me? Oh, no. Wow. No. Oh, and that's wow. Um, that's pack tactics. Um. Kip, you'll go. <laughs> no, it's robots go. That's me. No, no. It's robots. So, as in attacking Kip. Oh. Oh. That's that's, that's not advantage. Oh, that's only oh. a natural. It's only a twenty-one. It's not the critical. So it's five damage on Kip. Yeah, just only. Pardon. Five damage on Kip. Oh, good. <laughs> this was a bad episode. I'm on one. <laughs> <laughs> Wake um, up. <laughs> good God. And the saving door perception. I believe your stealth was 17. Doesn't find it. Oh, oh my man. god. That, that's what happens when... <laughs> the first one didn't have advantage because he wasn't there yet. Because the other one was going to be looking, so... Um, this one does, though. And a 17, 8 damage. 8. <laughs> 8. Yep. Eight. We're both just straight up dead, are we? No, oh, you're yeah. not dead. You're, you're yeah. both on the ground. That's minus seven. You're yeah. both on the ground. You're both going to be doing death saves. Okay. Oh, <laughs> We're getting... Yeah. Mercy. <laughs> yeah. Um, Mercy is like, okay, I think Kadan should actually be awake for this. That, that's yeah. Mercy. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, let's roll for the Thank AFK you, player. I oh, said, so Kadan's next. That's good. Um, so that was there. Fifteen, Kadan, and that's it. You also killed one of them early on, before the combat started, which is also very good. Yeah. Um, is it? Is it? It's so good. It is. Two down. It's good. <laughs> um, I've got to find Kadan's sheet. Hopefully, he's got spare the dying. I think he took it. Yeah, he, yeah. I assume he took it. Also, yeah. if he heals someone at zero, it, it then he heals well, them yeah. for maximum. Yep. Yeah. Um. Hint, hint. But spare the dying doesn't do <laughs> maximum. Um. So he's got two spells. We've got healing word. So I'll let I'll let the party I'll let the party choose, um, healing word or a heal. So either healing ward or healing kip, and I'll let you guys decide. Kip's closer, so it makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. So like be a kill. Uh, I can probably I can probably maybe do I can probably if Sizzy's now awake. I can probably wreck shop as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I say let Kip get healed because he's the first one seen. He doesn't have. Oh, he's only got healing wounds. He doesn't have cure wounds. Okay. Oh my god. Damn it, Katan! He prepared his spells. He put them all on there. Yeah. He did. <laughs> he would have done so this morning. <laughs> 100%. No, no. Uh. So that's the one we got. We got healing word. There we go. He At first time. level. 
But then by, uh, you get full hit points from it. For kit. Oh. It's, it's, it's uh, 1d4 plus wood, so I get I get 8 from that. Cause... You get max. Cause he, yeah, because yeah, it's max because I'm a 0 and he's a great yeah. cleric. Yep. Well. Which is awesome, actually. I like Grave Cloak. I never used that. Yeah. So I'm. Oh no, that's that's gone over. I didn't realize it does that. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's really annoying. <laughs> I'm just like immediately like dead, and then back to full. I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bing. And I'll take. I'm doing uh, Kadan's religion because he saved you. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. <laughs> so Kelenvor saves people and converts them to Kelenvor, the god of death. <laughs> Bane does it the opposite way. Bane kills people to convert them for the god of murder. Yeah, somehow. Um, I'll just check yeah. if there's another one. Does he have spare the dying? Oh, yeah. um, no, 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 not not the other one that way, but there's another spell which. Oh, right. Um, they got another wolf. I was like, oh, good. Come <laughs> on. So, Kadan then jump. Kadan then um, climbs out to the front and reaches reaches down between the bullocks and class spare the dying. That's his bonus action. Oh yeah, because he can do that as a bonus. Oh. Yeah. So that means that I have to roll saving throws now. No, and you're on one health. Oh good. We just have to kill <laughs> these guys really fast. <laughs> I got this. 100%. There you go. This Thank you, really Kadan. <laughs> Will's going to come back and be like, what the hell? <laughs> so, Robold? Tell me these are like 90-80% uh, of uh, experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, the wolf, the first wolf that hit me took 5 damage, so I'm hoping that's near death. Alright, yeah. let's get Well, you can, you can see on the on the bars. I can't see the bars. Yeah, we can't see, see the bars. bars. Oh, that's because I dragged off. I'll, I'll get it fixed up, don't I? Just do what you need to do. Okay. And I'll start fixing the those The beard up. is not amused. Mm -hmm. I do go into raging. Run to there. Now, can I use my blade to hit both of these two at the same time? Is it standing five feet from each other? So only one? You're only hitting one. You can only attack one at a time. That's fine. Do you have to take an I opportunity, attack you. opportunity to going down there? No, because you get no, to here and um, then you can work around. No. Okay. Go. Oh, nice! Wow! Does it? Is it? it? Yeah, does Which it one are you hitting? The top or the bottom? The middle one. The one right. Middle. That one. Okay. Just check. Yes, it does hit. Hey. It oh, just die, hits, die, die, die. and just does enough health. <sighs> so you hit both right on the money. The thirteen AC and eleven hit points. Wow. <laughs> So very lucky. Um, any other actions? No. No. Okay. <laughs> That's all I can do. So there'll be more. Um, I'm going to shoot. Yep. This friendly fellow. Yeah. He'll have a minus two to hit because he's in combat. I'll have a minus two. And a minus two to hit because he's in combat with Kip. All right. Shooting into combat. Um, shooting into combat rules are really weird. It's have to be done by um, cover rules. It's a weird one. Okay. All right, so that's only like yeah. five to hit. So I'm going to assume that doesn't hit. Yeah, no, no. It's a, it's essentially when you're shooting into combat, you're trying not to hit the other person because combat's actually fluid where they're actually moving through each oh, other's okay. squares. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As someone that's done archery. Um, I've shot into combat. It's not easy. Um, yes, that's me shooting into people. I've done it. Uh, legally. Any other actions? Um, 
I don't think I have. We need to get higher levels so I can have more actions. No, I don't. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, but when you do get higher level, I'll enforce the whole. If you shoot, you're breaking your um, your um, your stealth, and you have to use your bonus action for your stealth. Yeah, that's what I'm planning to yeah. do. Yeah, but for the moment, you're you're so far away. You're saying you're hiding. They're trying to find you, but there's other real targets. But every time you do shoot, you're reducing that. So they can see where the arrows are coming from. And Kip, you have two on you, one slightly injured. Okay, I am going to. Um, no, I'll provoke an attack of opportunity. Damn. Okay, I'm just going to. I'm going to. I'm going to attack this one. Uh, uh, with a 18. Which one was that? Middle or uh, bottom? The injured one. Yep. This That's one. a kill. I'm going to take him out. Big and kill. I'm going to spin around and uh, offhand on this one, on the other one. Yep. That's not a hit. No. That will okay, and really just, uh, good. In that case, I'm going to move around to here. Yep. Um, so I'm sort of like... Actually, no, it doesn't really matter because he's not going to get past. So I'll, I will anyway, whatever. Yeah, let's do that. Just trying to... <laughs> I'm scared. Well, you've already been down once. I can understand being scared. <laughs> <laughs> um, realistically, I could probably put um, that whole um, darkness back again. That'll scare people. Because you are fighting on the other <laughs> side of the... where the light isn't. Um, but I'll be nice. What well, is your go? So, oh, I just stand up using like the caravan to get myself up or the wagon. I'm like, oh, thank you, Kadan. This is why you shouldn't sleep. And I'm just <laughs> going to grab my axe and, like, with two hands, bring it down on the wolf's head that it tried to attack me. It's like, Glacier's Edge, save my life, please. Where is my axe? Uh, in your hands. <gasps> oh, no! oh no! I don't need this right now. <laughs> so you this bring your. <laughs> do, do you want to do the description, or do you want me to? All right. So as I come down, like completely, like Fido falls over my eyes, so I can't see properly, and I just come down and dig my axe into the dirt so hard that I'm like stuck, and I'm trying to like drag it out, <laughs> and the wolf's probably next to me, just like. Snickering, I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> this isn't good, guys. It's okay. They don't. I don't think they have hat tactics anymore. No, yeah. I, I was gonna. I was gonna say it as um, with the shadows from the campfire on the other side of the wagon, you accidentally hit the other wolf, which is actually dead. The dead wolf. <laughs> <laughs> you say the one that attacked you, and two did attack you. But uh, yeah, either either one's yeah. Stuck um, in the dirt. Somewhere. And <laughs> sorry, any <Robo>. bonus action? <laughs> I I don't have any bonus action, unfortunately. Yeah, could have hex spell first. I I do have that, but it doesn't do damage straight away. No, he has yeah, to keep it. Yes, we do before you attack. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of hex. I was like, I can't do hex. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'll end my turn. That's fine. Okay, and the wolves. I forgot about Hexblade's curse. Um, both are disengaging. Hey, no, whoa, whoa. No, it doesn't matter now, but next time, I'm just going to use Stone's Endurance so I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Remember your abilities. Yes. And as you go up level, they're going to get more and more. Yeah, they are both totally disengaging and just running off. Do I get an attack of opportunity because it's running away? Disengage action is a you doesn't elicit the attack of opportunities. Uh. Yeah, that that's the annoying thing about the disengage. Um, but you've hurt them enough that you made them run away and you killed f four of them. Um, um. So, are we moving the turn order, clearing it? Unless you want to do other well, things. Well, uh, this one's still on the map, so I'm going to try and crossbow it. I'm not oh. having any of that. 
I'm out for blood. Um, Can I do that? If you really want to, I was just, yeah. yeah they so, may turn. Uh, see, I can move. How are these five squares each? Five foot each, yes. Okay. Yeah, I can rule up. Ruler. So I've got, I can, yeah, I can go there. So I'll go here and I'll crossbow this wolf here. Yep. It's vengeance. No, modified 20. And it hits five. him, does five damage, doesn't kill him, and he still he squeals and still runs. I'm and just that's... like, you know, just trying to chase him away, just like out for blood. And that's me for being a lazy DM and not actually deleting the, but actually just dragging them off to the corners of the map instead of deleting them. Because I can still see him, because I got dark vision. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come out of hiding, and as far as all you know, I've just hid and done nothing. <laughs> well, no. I, um, I saw, I saw the arrows. one take out. Like, because of dark vision, I saw you take out the other one, so yeah. it's fine. Um, that oh, was... You're alive. Well done. <laughs> I'm bleeding though really badly. Yeah, you should go rest. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sleep in the cart tonight. That looks really hard. I'm going to climb the cart. I hate to admit this, but maybe having the, keeping the cage was a good idea. Which you got rid of the cage. <laughs> oh. um, there is something called. Um, you ca there is like. Um, blacksmith welding or smith welding that you can put it back on but it's very hard with something that big they're late for that now yeah ward why didn't fido do anything fido tried to talk to them because they were wolves and it didn't go too well did he call did he curse them out did they say a wolf swear word no he was just like please don't attack him i live here and then Everything went blurry. <laughs> the next thing I know, Kadan's there touching me and I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> and Kadan's like, I, I didn't touch you in that way. <laughs> Stop spreading rumors. Thank you. Thank you so much. You, you saved uh, both of our lives. You're eternally in Kadan's debt. Thank you, Kadan. Hey. So. And he starts yeah, going he, on about I next time we'll travel place. in a less dusty wagon and camp in less dirty little locations. Maybe a tavern or an inn. Well, that's where we're going. We're going to an inn. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying. Sorry, Will. But I know these Kadans very much a neat freak. Um, <laughs> and the rest of the night is uneventful. If you're getting hit points back, you get hit points back. From your long rest. Um, no, next time for sure. Stone's endurance, right off the bat. <laughs> what yeah, does Stone's endurance sure, do? Walk right into the pack of wolves. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. Next time, we need to stay together. We need to stay as a group. I was hiding yeah. in the <laughs> It's better if I don't stand next to any of you. Okay, you're the exception. That's because you do better when you're taken by surprise. For us, for you, you need to get behind uh, me. You need to get behind Robold and I. We need to... Mm. Next time we'll stand back to back in a circle. And we'll just look. Yeah, it works. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> but if there's anything, you know, if there's anything I've learned, it's, it's strength in numbers. We can't... Says the kobold with right pack now. tactics. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, it's true. That's, that is why I say it, because kobolds work better in numbers. <clears throat> I, I just I just love it's coming from the kobold with pack tactics, yeah. Um, so the rest of the night is uneventful. You get your health back, um, back in the cart. It's a, um, it's a nice, bright, sunny day. Perfect for everybody except for Kip. Which is just yeah, it's painful. Bright. It's just too bright. It's horrid wanna, and miserable. Do you want to use my uh, tabard to, to block out the sun? That's actually... Wanna... Thank you. Yes, that'll be lovely. Thanks. Thanks. You know, I've seen these... Like this. <laughs> you, you really don't need to do that. I no, can... I, I can... 
uh, on, you know they have now, those, they have like stained glass windows in these churches, right? I wonder, well, just a thought. They block out a bit of sunlight. Do you want I'm us to how they make you something out of stained glass windows? Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just thinking aloud. Right. That's not a bad idea, actually. Arms over Kip to ma mimic what So's doing. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. You guys don't need to worry. I'll just read for a bit. You know, as long as I don't like look directly, you know, into the sky, I should be fine. I'll just kind of like bury my nose in my book, like trying to keep shade. So I don't, you know. Now you see why servants oh. are useful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Obviously. <gasps> no. Oh. I'm gonna so, Robert is just directing you, like, no, no, you missed a spot there. No, oh, sun's man. coming in that spot. <laughs> Why are they oh. getting tired? War, <laughs> take over! Oh, this is humiliating, please. It's fine, really. <laughs> and I'm just gonna pick It's still so highly amusing for me. <laughs> <laughs> you should join in with your beard. Do -do -do -do. With the you beard. You can up like this, I think. We'll just use my tabard. So we've gone well over our normal break time, so we're just going to have a bit of a break <laughs> while this is going on on the road. Um, we've been going for about an hour and 40 minutes, which we usually have about an hour on our breaks. So we'll just take about a five minute break if everyone's good with that. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, just find my screens. There we go. There we go. So there we are. So we're going to take about a five minute break. Um, we'll be back shortly. Um, this is the Goblin Cave. We're playing Prince of the Apocalypse. I'm um, hopefully enjoying the show. Thanks for um, all the viewers. It's great to have a... This is almost a full room for us. Um, and um, yeah, so about five minutes, we're back. And um, on our way to the Bartright Inn with all the mm -hmm. hilarity and the idiocy that continues. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll be back shortly.
Hello and welcome back. Sorry for the extended delay. That's that was on me. Got some workmen and everyone else ha happening at the moment, um, and I can't do anything about it. But I do have to speak to them from time to time. Um, it just so happened that it was when we were on a break that I had to go back to speak to them again. Um, so we are on the road, on the way to the barge right in our misfit mercenaries of the Silver Daggers, which still have not chosen a independent group name. Um, uh, on the way to the barge right in for their first proper commission or work outside of Red Lark. Um, in the break we've also just found out that they are so close for leveling and in a game where all the players have actually, um, how can I put this, they rolled for their characters in every aspect, it's um, they want to get off single digit um, hit points. Provided we don't roll terribly again. Watch me roll yeah. a two. <laughs> so hit points have been rolled, ability scores have been rolled, although the ability scores were definitely rigged in the auto roller. Um, and there's only one, um, one ability that is below 10, um, and that's only a nine. So, um, but there's a few very, very low hit points. Um, and that's what everyone wants to get away from. And I'm just waiting for them to roll a one. <laughs> as I, as I know, at least one backup character has one hit point. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Right, oh, total or just roll the one? Because, I mean, I got the plus two con. Yeah. Roll the one, I remember. But yes. Um, so we're, gonna, we're on our way to, um, for, oh, sorry, to Bridge Ride Inn. Um, the day, once again, you head off. Um, this time um, throughout the day, there's a bit less traffic, and so just making sure everything's working. Yep, a um, bit less traffic, and you pass no normal stopping like campsites um, every few hours, um, and they're kind of defined of where they are, and it's actually really easy to actually just to stop, have some lunch, have a short rest, then get back onto the road again. Um, it's a very well-worn um, road onto the branch right in. Um, is there anything you're looking to do during the day or anything specifics you're looking to do as a group uh, or a party? Can I roll like a perception check to see if we're passing by any travellers that aren't in a wagon, they're just walking or they've got campsites anywhere? Well, I can say that most people are on wagons. There are some people that are not on wagons though. But most have wagons, yes. Or on horseback. How much XP is a random human? <laughs> <laughs> no murder. <laughs> Says the kobold who almost killed the children. Oh, can we please stop with the children? <laughs> That's okay. You're saying it to the Goliath who also almost killed the children. So. Correction. Would have killed the children. Roll the one. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 You know, I, as soon as I saw them up close, I immediately put my swords away. <laughs> you know, but uh, apparently everyone wants us to forget that fact. But no, let's, let's continue with the infanticide gag. It's fine. That, that's okay. There's, there's 15 more levels of this to go. We'll be here for a while. Um. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, speak up a little bit. A little bit quiet. I was gonna say I, I'm gonna take my ball bearing bag, and I'm gonna like weigh it in my hand, and I'm gonna like the gears of my mind are gonna start working. Uh, do we have it? And I'm gonna ask, do we have any rope? Um, let me. I might have some. Yeah. I've got the rope that ties the chest to my back. No. Um, I'm gonna see if I have any rope. Do I got some rope. Work? Yeah. I have some rope. Uh, what do you want? I just cut I me have like a set of manacles. No, no, no. Just cut me like um. I've also got like manacles. Five, <laughs> no, no, like a foot of rope. What for? I, I just I want to test something. Oh dear. Is sure, it gonna make a lot of noise? Not? Is it gonna make a lot of noise? Not if it doesn't hit anything. What? Fair <laughs> enough. I can keep focusing on the balls. 
<laughs> yeah, just keep going. Right. I don't know what's I'll... happening either. <laughs> I'll cut you a bit of rope. Here you go. All right. Uh, I'm going to tie. Well, 50, hand rope is 50 foot is now 49 foot. <laughs> yep. Mark it down. I'm going to tie the end of the rope to the ball bearing bag to where, like, at the end of it, like, where the bag goes up and closes. I'm going to tie it around there where it closes and, like, make a pretty little knot. And uh, I'm going to wait to see, use this when we're not moving. Next time we're in a battle. Yeah, I, I see where this has gone, yep. A ball bearing yeah. bomb? <laughs> no, I think we're talking about um, a flail, but without the handle. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. You, have you ever gotten hit in the face with uh, an entire uh, 999 ball bearings? Yeah. No. Ah. Do you want to? <laughs> No. The, the answer is no. The rogue is going with finesse and de dexterity and precision. <laughs> and, and, Ward, and Ward is learning. No is an optional answer to so. Are you sure you don't want to see what it feels like, Ward? I've already had a brush with death, thanks. Will you not be hitting each other, please? I, did, I would never hit Ward. You just asked to hit me. I asked. There's a difference. So if I said yes, you wouldn't hit me? No, I would because you said yes. You gave me permission to hit you. So you'd hit me if I gave you permission to hit me? Yes, but if you didn't, I wouldn't. I respect you. Kind of. Can I look around for a passing cartery human that would be a nice target? Oh, yes. <laughs> we No. <laughs> Let's kill somebody! Let's Rather kill somebody. her pissing out than pissing in. Oh. Um, Let's kill! Let's kill! Let's kill! Just the, the, day kill is, the day goes on. Um, after lunchtime, you're heading back onto the road again, and there's just essentially carts. There's not many, but there's carts and there's people going the other direction. Um, as you're actually um, having lunch, you have a, a, another cart passes you. What, what's the plan, guys? Get to the inn, we do our jobs. We get paid. You write off your debt. We should rob them. Oh rob, oh rob, oh God. If you want to rob people, don't do it on company time. <laughs> on company time? Are we um, always on company time? Come on, you can't say you don't want to rob people when they give you a dirty look. Not even a little bit. I've been there, it didn't end well. Okay. It okay, but now I'm here. I'm gonna it catches up have a look you. at them. And I was very lucky to come out alive, so... Yeah? So, yeah. so what do you... what? Do the people in the other carriage... How do they look? Do they look like people that would be okay to rob because they're, like, evil? Or <clears throat> perceived as evil? I'm, I'm not going to ask for a perception check because that, that could go badly if you roll a one. I'm just <laughs> going to say that they look like normal, peaceful travellers or traders. And perfectly okay, normal, peaceful travellers and traders at that. I don't think we should attack them because they look normal. If they looked at, like shifty, then I'd be all in. But they don't look shifty to me. They were a Define shift. Just so, like the like the people that we attacked with the bear. After yeah, we found enough. out they yeah. were bad. After you found <laughs> out that they weren't normal peaceful trappers, yes. Uh, robot, I was like, yo, uh, trader <laughs> people, <laughs> kind of almost peasants. What are you trading? I had to do it when I just took a bite. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Impeccable timing. Yes. Um. So they call back. Oh, we're just trading goods for um goods from Browtrite in. Um. So just some goods from up the river. Do you have any arrows? No, we don't. We don't cater to weapons or anything like that. You Too high taxes. Do you want some arrows? No. You suck! 
get my crossbow out. <laughs> Sorry! I just caused the pass. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use thaumaturgy and I'm uh, gonna make some ominous whispers follow them. <laughs> I, I will say that they're out of sight. I will say that most groups that pass you have guards. Oh, so yeah. they have experience mm. points. <laughs> <laughs> Not all, just, but most. Like, lay down in the cart. I'm gonna cast thaumaturgy <laughs> to make ominous whispers. Just take my eyes right along. I, I think for now, let's not do anything too rash. We're going to get to the inn and it's going to be bad. I feel it. I'm just going to keep riding. It just came from the inn. It's going to be fine. It's probably like, oh, I spilled my tea kettle. Or whatever poor people worry about. <laughs> they could also be a thieves guild. They could be bandits. We don't know. They could be plague ridden. Oh, so, <laughs> you do have a player's guide. I, I've um, I've given you a, an abridged version of um, the area, oh, um, yeah. and it does have an int it does have an entry for the barge right in. Um, and they I'll read it out. It. So this is information you do right. know of, because you're from this greater area. So once a hilltop wayside in, this site has become a walled community of ramshackle, often rebuilt wooden towers and buildings. Now. Now entirely cloaking the hill that overlooks the village of Wormford across the river. Barge right in rigs of manure and f and filthy mud. So the barge right in is actually the community, as well as there is an inn called the barge right in. Mm -hmm. um, so it houses blacksmiths, um, dealers that buy and sell horses, mules, oxen, wheelwrights, coopers, wagon makers. Um, has inns, stables, warehouses. Um, and two layers of defensive walls to protect the community. So there's less of an inn and more of a just a village. Yes, but you know that there's there's the barge right inn as well. The village is called the barge right inn, but there's also a barge right inn inside the barge right inn. Um, um, you know the factions and mercenary um, stuff you showed us beforehand. Yes. Yeah. Do we know that information ourselves? Like our characters would know that information. You know that the no? shady. And that there's, um, you know, that um, yeah, a group called the Black Hand pretty much moved in a few years ago to the Barge Right Inn, um, and yeah. Okay. From now on, as we're driving past, Ward's going to keep his eyes out for any Black Hand tattoos. Yeah. So you may not know the tattoos, but you know that a group of shady mercenaries. Okay. And moved into the into the barge right in a few years ago because you're all from this area and it's it's a common knowledge you don't know the signifier of okay, they have a tattoo somewhere on their body though okay i'm going to keep keep a sharper look out yeah and no you don't see does anyone, any. does anyone know what we've actually been sent here to do no no you've just got a mission that's it they just said come to the inn and we said okay <laughs> you know we're getting money. Fair yeah. enough. Um, so the rest of the day is uneventful. Um, nothing happens. Um, late in the, well, nothing um, big happens. Late in the day, once again, you see those right those flyers um, fly above you in the distance. They're not close to you, but you can just see the um, the either they'll have the giant eagles or griffins um, in a formation and. Normally, birds or or, hip, or griffins like that wouldn't be in a tight formation. So, although you can't see the riders this time um, because they're too far away, but they definitely would have been that same group. We're gonna catch them one day. Does anyone have any idea who they are or what they do? The banners are pretty. Well, this at this time you don't see the colourful banners because they're off in the distance too much, but. Um, you just think that they're the same group because animals that large don't fly in strict formation. Griffin? Whoever they are, they seem to be important. Can I kind of ascertain which direction they were flying to? They're off to your north. North? North. Yeah. Still just north. Mm. I mean, I could turn the cart around. We can follow. 
No, no. we gotta get stuff. We're doing trades again. <laughs> Oh, fine. So you you yeah. most of the way um, to the um, most of the way to the barge right in, um, but you still need to have another camp. Oh, because the last, last time it went so amazing. I know. <laughs> Sorry, I, know. I, know my, I know my spells now. It's fine. You got your good right, spells this time. Yep. Stick together. <laughs> back to back. So just for fun, you found an almost identical. <laughs> <laughs> we have certain needs when we go camping. And wow. It needs to be the odds. <laughs> I swear, we've been looking at so much wood all day. I think it's all starting to look the same. Uh, let's give you a bit of a this is the creepy place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is better. So for those viewing, there's just way too many maps for this game. <laughs> way too many maps. Oh no, you're not seeing because I haven't got that up on the screen. Um, so I'll just swap to that. So we're off again to the same location, like a similar um, location to the last time. Um, a lot of the campsites are very similar um, <laughs> because they're just cleared. <laughs> they're just cleared area, really. There you go. <laughs> we've we've parked in a different spot. We've parked in a different spot than last time. That's exactly right. So there we are at your campsite on the side of the road. Um, cleared area. It's nice and and free. And um, we'll go straight into watch orders if you work. Okay. Mm. Um, are we closer to barge right, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm yeah. going. I'm going to be looking around for. I'm going to be something doing something productive this time. <gasps> I'm going. <laughs> I know. I'm going to be looking for thieves can't. Like any I'm... like messages, messages. and yep. that's perception, right? That's perception. Oh, actually, you probably. Either perception or investigation, whichever you would prefer in this case. Because you are investigating um, the area. Um, or survival as well. Because you're Let's... looking. Yeah. I'm really good at deception. If I were using deception, that'd be great. No. I don't know if the deception can help us. Uh, I'm about, I think it'd be investigating, so I'm just going to go with investigation. They're about the same. Yep. Yeah. So you look around and um, you look at the rocks in the area and the logs and and, and just really looking closely and inspect the area and you don't see anything. You don't find okay. any trail markings, any thieves can't. Um, there's a couple of such and such was here. Um, but just, that's just normal graffiti at campsites really. Alright, uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to pick up some charcoal. From the fire, <laughs> and I'm gonna roll a d4. Who's the victim? Who is my victim <laughs> today? So that's a two. Oh, it's Kadan again. <laughs> can't defend himself. No, uh, he can't defend himself. So that would be a sleight of hand, right? Yeah, it's a, it's essentially just a sleight of hand, just to um, um, essentially not wake him up while doing it. Okay. Nice. Which is I'm no going. problem at all. Yeah. He's I'm dead gonna... tired. What am I gonna do? He's resting what am in peace. Grave cleric. Yeah. Uh, resting in peace. A, I'm gonna make a skull. I'm gonna put the black around here. I'm gonna go into the cheeks and put black here and here. And then I'm gonna make little crushes against his lips. And then I'm gonna kiss his forehead and go back, back over there and go to uh, wake up uh, Robold. I should not have mentioned that last time. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. I'll take credit for that. Um, so you do it, you get you get away with it. Um, Robo to your watch. Okay. Nothing else happens in that with so. Okay. I'll just do a big perimeter this time. Yep. Round, around. That's it. 
So about that distance around um, and nothing happens during your watch. Cool, cool. And I think Kip was third. Yep, I'm um, midnight watch. Yep. And I will do this and I'll do a, a big perimeter around. Yep. Uh, I also like having a peek in the woods as well. Yep. It's kind of like. Because that really was fun last time. Uh, nothing happens during your watch. Okay. I turn. Yes, Ward. All right, so I'm going to go to do a perimeter, realize I can't see shit, <laughs> and Sorry. then walk back down to here, get out my journal, and start reading over my life lessons. <laughs> and then when I get to the one about... What did I write? Can you use charcoal and sticks to draw on people? I'm going to go to the fire like... So, explain to me. Get some charcoal <laughs> out. Get the stick. Ooh. And then... Who am I going to get? Then choose. Roll 1d4. Kadan, again. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that that's going to be so. Ow! So, <laughs> I'm going to go... Is becoming the master. I'm going to go up to so. As a sleight of hand. Sleight of hand, please. Uh, For the eight foot tall... Goliath. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna allow that. So I'm just gonna write on her face. So was here because everyone told me that whenever this stuff happens, it's so. so <laughs> <laughs> write her name on it because that makes sense to him. And then on the cheek, he's just gonna start like drawing uh, like just random squiggles and stuff because he's not really artistic. And give her a mustache. <laughs> and then he's going to walk back over here and feel like everyone's going to think it was so. <laughs> Drawing on her own face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Karma, um, what are you going to do? Um, as you're walking back, though, oh, God, here we go. Yep. Um, you hear a howls of wolves. Oh, come on. Okay. Yep. That's, that's they... all. Do I need to roll a perception check to see how close they are? You can. Give me a sec. We faced a giant bug, bandits, but the wolves are going to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Yes. Um, you think that they're a distance off. Okay. So I'm going to wake Kadan up a little bit early. <laughs> Kadan, Kadan. And you notice that he's face is to, in, in the dark in the darkness and in the campfire light his face looks like a skull <laughs> good on. you look really creepy right now but <laughs> i need you to wake up early please i hear howling they don't sound close but get up you heal people and <laughs> instead of like shaking him i'm just gonna like softly shake the cart because i feel like there's more chance of waking him and with your strength and the cart's just not an issue yet. Maybe um, the balls, he does cool. wake up. He's like, what's going on? Did I you say... howling. Howling? Yeah, like... And, like that. Um, wasn't Fido. Yeah. <laughs> Did he do that loudly? At <laughs> <laughs> a, a... Like a... Not super loud, but like more than a normal voice tone. Mm. So... I don't know if that'll wake others. <laughs> um, so he he wakes up and he will do his watch as, and you go to sleep. Do I? <laughs> well, I'm assuming you go to sleep. Uh -huh. um, when I, I'll good. sleep, but like one eye open type yeah. sleep. And in the morning, nothing's happened. Everyone's still alive. There's no encounter. <laughs> I should have went chasing for him. Oh. So, um, yeah, it's just because I have you on my map and have you go through everything doesn't mean you, there's always going to be an encounter. It also means you don't level up, sorry. <laughs> That's why. That's why there's no encounter. Yeah, because I want to keep switch. you at level one. <laughs> Bait and switch, keep you at level one. There you go. Be mean. Um... So in the morning, getting ready, 
everything's I'll bring the light back again I love dynamic lighting it's very good yeah as we wake up I'm gonna go to so like so so what's wrong with your face and I'm just gonna be like trying <laughs> no to I told you I got thing. sick remember that's not what I mean <laughs> Hey, what's what's wrong with my face? I'm just gonna like hold up my steel mirror because I have one. You have a steel yeah. mirror? Yeah, I just saw it then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold it up to her face and like, see, it says you were here, and then there's I saw beautiful squiggles. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna start laughing, and I'm gonna uh, so it's gonna start doing that snort laugh. Just having a black, like laughing at her face, just having a really good time. I don't know why you did it to yourself personally. <laughs> I didn't. Why did you do this? No, it's always you. That's the story. I would be really proud if you did this. <laughs> Look, I'm going to just say that it probably wasn't Kip and it definitely wasn't Robolt. <laughs> I'm gonna roll insight to see if I uh, can see. Yep, you can do it if you want. <laughs> That's all you get from me. You still have to do a deception and beat that, though. I uh, I have to beat that with perception. No Surely. deception. Oh, because I'm deceiving. Yes. Surely I'm amazing at that. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm do you not. Three, for, for those watching on for those watching on the conversation it's just so obvious that so's not getting it and you, you're just like you're sitting back watching eating your breakfast and it's like does she she's does she realize it's you know it's her you, you know he did it you know he did it and just taking a long time and finally it clicks and by that time you finish your breakfast you're starting to pack away and it's like, yeah, it just took us a long time. But it was obvious right from the start. <laughs> he just holds up his hands. <laughs> right right from, oh, just look at your face. <laughs> and and Kadan's just shaking his face, shaking his head and cleaning off his face the entire time. <laughs> and after he's cleaned his, his self off with all the charcoal, he throws the, um, the cloth to sew, which is covered in black. To clean her own face off. Before I go clean my face off, I'm gonna go up to Ward. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna stand on my tippy toes, and I'm gonna put my hands on his shoulder and look him straight in the eye and say, "I have never been more proud of someone than I am of you right now." And then I'm gonna clean my face off and throw the rag in his face. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna peel it off, but I'm just like he's smiling. He's like, "Oh, dude, something good." <laughs> <laughs> You're doing something great! Let's go! I want money! This... <laughs> Having so is bad enough. Having so being ten foot tall and not Eight. is terrifying. Eight foot tall. Oh, yeah. Stupid. To him it's probably ten. Having, a, having someone else like so who can't get away with it is terrifying. <laughs> but entertaining. <gasps> the day yeah, someone does it to Robolt, will... though. <laughs> um, so, you you think that you're going to be um, getting to the to the end about night time, or close to um, night time. So, um, today you're going to be more pushing to get there on time. Um, yeah. And you do know that the town itself. From your general knowledge of the area you know that the town itself at night time it locks up and oh, once yeah. it's locked up you can't get in you've heard yeah, you've need, heard tales of travelers to that get pissed off because they can't get in at night and left to camp outside the city gates okay, i can so scare okay. the cattle into going faster question will we would we will be walking faster than the cars uh, it's about the same um uh in in this case because the, the cart's slow but if you're walking you're you're also going to get tired this is a long journey um you can push the cart if you need um which will give you which, which you think will cut down the time uh 
but it's up to you. Even horses, they can they can gallop really quickly, but they wear themselves out after like an hour. So, yeah, they're still about the same movement rate, unless you force marching essentially the the wagons or quick march. I think it's called. Right. Do, do we want me to get outside and push? I mean, no, no, it's if we'll get there when we get there. And if it's night time, that's just bad luck. Yeah, then we'll just have to wait outside. I'm just going to like whip them a bit more to try to, you know, eager them on more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you head down. You head onto the road, you head out, um, and it's just a nice day once again. It's it's bright, it's sunny, it's beautiful. In the afternoon, though, it turns a bit dark, it turns to rain. Um, it's about early afternoon, about or just after midday, it's storm clouds come over, and it's darker in the skies, which is better for Kip, of course. Hmm. Um, but not as good for everybody else as the rain opens up and you don't have cover for your for your wagon. I'm gonna use my own tower. Uh, my I'm gonna take off my tower and I'm just gonna hold it over my head like this and try to keep as less rain on me as possible. I'm trying to shelter my book as best I can. Mm. I'm washing. I'm getting wet. You're washing. <laughs> I'm just gonna open my mouth and start drinking. <laughs> Yes, well, trip's really long. Uh, Kiran gets the um, starts getting his tent out and starts trying to tie it to the one side of the um, of the wagon to the other. Oh, oh and that's, I'll help with that. I'll yeah. help with that. I'm gonna watch them do that. <laughs> this is the song that never ends. It goes <laughs> on and on, my friends. And <laughs> start singing the entire rest of the trip. Yeah, <laughs> and so he's so proud. I flip through my book <laughs> and I get loggingly at the silence spell. <laughs> yeah. One day, uh, one day, one day. You, you, gonna... You're starting to make out. You know which one is the silence spell. You just don't really understand how yet. Yeah. I'm gonna peer over Kip's shoulder, and I'm gonna uh, like. Try to like read a little bit. It's like, what you got? Oh, this, this, mm -hmm. it's, it's just some arcane stuff. Why are you always reading it? Because I want to learn stuff. I want to be, yeah. you know, I want to be, I want to, you know, know things. Be smart. Yeah. Do you know anything Why yet? Not? Because, pardon? <laughs> Can you do anything from the book yet? No, I'm still haven't figured even the most basic stuff out yet. It's 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 you know, it's it's difficult. I first had to learn Elvish because it's all written in Elvish. Um, Why do you have a book so written I'm in Elvish? Still not very good at that. So um, it's a it's a long process, but I want to you know do something get get something done from it. Why do you have a book in Elvish? Uh, I uh, got it from a friend. Inside you have chat. friends? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. He's not. There's no deception there. So I'm not even going to ask for it. In, yeah, do you want uh, to go any further? That's up to you, but... I mean, like, I, I probably just said, I got it from a, I got it from a friend, and um, she started teaching me, and now I'm trying to learn by myself. I had a friend that taught me stuff. Mm, I don't know where she what is. What was that? Oh, she taught me how to do this, and uh, oh, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to take, uh, really quickly take something from him, or take his book, <laughs> or something. Hey, Ooh. look at that! <laughs> look at that over there! I don't take my eyes off you. <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. I'll show you. Give me like six seconds. Uh, I'm going to casually 
Slide next to Robold. Yeah. Hi, Robold. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Where you want? Can I have a hug? Can I have a hug? I just, I miss no. getting hugged. I Today is not a hug day. Please, 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 please. No. I roll persuasion to get a hug. <laughs> you don't have to roll. It's, it's going to be a no. Oh, no. please, 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 please. Please. I need what? a hug. Why I've been listening to the conversation, dark. so I just sort of slip a silver coin into her hand. Oh, this like is behind her back. <laughs> like there, I will show something. you when we get... She taught me how to be a rogue, basically. I mean, yeah, you are, you are good at that kind of stuff. I am good at it. I, I, give, just, you, I, give, you, I give you shit for it, but only because I don't think you should try and rob the townsfolk. But, you know, it's, it's useful stuff. Yeah, she taught me how to do it because she was stealing from my mom. Oh, okay. Oh, it's fine. Oh. My mom was a bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. <laughs> I know something about bitchy mothers. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I didn't know my mother. That's you made this conversation that's... bad. I mean, that's just the way it was. <laughs> that's just the way it was. Like we, um, you know. When eggs are all put together, and uh, we're all, you know, it's kind of anonymous. But in that sense, everyone's one big family. Hang on, so, hang on. You hatch from an egg like a bird. I'm, I'm reptilian. I'm a kobold. Yes. I don't know what any of that means. But okay. <laughs> well, okay. Keep hatched from egg. <laughs> Just write yes. it in my journal. journal. <laughs> I am a kobold. Kobolds hatched from eggs. We are, you know, like like dragons or, uh, you know, snakes. Dwarves yeah, hatch from eggs or birds. No, dwarves don't hatch. Are you there for your birth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a momentous occasion, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Were you born with the beard, or did that come later? Uh, later. <laughs> I oh, just think, so um... <laughs> Did you like a regular person before that? Everyone's, get, everyone's getting their most intimate details revealed about themselves. <laughs> Robo didn't always have the beard. Did you grow the beard, or did the beard attach itself to you? Did what, the were beard you a regular person right? before the beard? <laughs> well, dwarf children all kind of look alike. Clear-skinned, ugly little things. Except for me, of course. I grew with oh, the fuzz. So you grew the beard? <laughs> the beard grew. Okay. Or did the beard grow you? Ooh. I, the beard I still grow. don't know if the beard's alive or not, but this, is, this helps the investigation. Yeah, it's kind of a bit weird. <laughs> you just keep referring to it in the third person. <laughs> yeah. not, not gonna lie, that's... Disturbing. A little bit. The beard find this amusing. Are you, Are you the beard, or is the beard the beard? Yes. I'm very confused. Are we in town yet? Um, <laughs> so, I've all, yes. I've given you all inspiration, if you didn't have it already. Beard is the beard. <laughs> because that was just, that, that, yeah, just amazing. Um, it really mm -hmm. was, yeah. And I, I, because I know some of the character backgrounds, it's like, okay, this is coming out here and coming out there. Um, and really love it but um yeah you, you get um later on in the day you do see um the village in the distance um it is going to be nightfall by the time you get there though shit ah, okay so the gates closed um, the well, gates like are we're closed. counting again yep yeah Yay! so i'm losing my enthusiasm for this is there uh, any guards on the roof on the walls um there are guards to the walls what uh, if I yell to them and ask nicely to open the gate? So there we go. And it's also something I needed to check. It's pitch black. Yes, oh, it's pitch God, black. So That's just... okay. <laughs> It'll still load when it's pitch black. It's okay. Well, I thought it was just blind again. Um, <laughs> again. So I've just got to check. 
Robol's the only one in the party that didn't have that mark. Yes. Mm. I just got to remember. Oh, that. that's. Funny. I'm not. Cursed. Oh yeah. <laughs> so for those viewers, um, everyone in the party has something going on around them. Um, they don't really know what it is themselves. Um, so everyone except for Robold. Because luckily, Robold was not there on the day mm -hmm. that it happened. And so, I didn't touch oh, wow. Yeah. wow. So this is uh, the bar tried in. Um, it's actually quite big for my map. For my screen? Yeah, it's very, it's zoomed out all the way. Yep. So, center mostly of it there. So, in front of you is the hill of the Bartrite Inn. Um, it's actually, you can see the layers and the, and the fortifications. Um, the bottom fortifications are large, looks like quite substantial um, fortification or wall around the base of the hill and as the hill goes up further you can see lights from um, further inside the village where there's another layer of fortifications um, near the top of the hill itself um, and you Makes see you think, what, yep. what in this shitty little village is so worth protecting the people well yes but this is way more fortified than yeah. any other yeah. You know, like Redlock wasn't this. You know, this is ridiculously mind. fortified. Um, yeah, you can also see. Yeah. Um, you can also see from where you're viewing from. You can see the river, which is very close nearby, um, down the bottom of the hill, and another town across the other side of the river. Mm. Well, you know what they say: people with walls uh, have secrets. Maybe they're at war with the other town. Yeah. So the other town, I just. I don't think so. Not wrong. I about. suggest we be circumspect when we go inside. So I just want to find Nothing the name of the other town. Fortified as that means trouble. Yeah. So Worm, okay. Wormfold hey, is on the other side of the river. Trouble is my middle name. It's not, but it is. Yeah, maybe it for be. once it should <laughs> it not. It could be. <laughs> if you wanted it to be. No, my middle name's Llewellyn. 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 That's a very pretty name. No, it's not. Anyway, let's go! <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna call out to the guards, because they invited us, so maybe we can get in. And be like, Excuse me! We, I am Fanta Von Pants Fans, and <laughs> we are of the Silver Daggers. We have been invited. Please let us in. You, you, it just you see the light of a torch, of a lantern, um, actually gets directed towards you and the cart. It says, the city's closed, or the town is closed. The gates open in the morning. What Go time? away. Sunrise, sun at the highest. When we open them, that's when they will be open. No entry at night time. There's not these, huh? Well, if you see anything, do try and wake us up. Don't let us be eaten. We're here to protect the town. Well, not those outside it. What about five feet outside of the town? <laughs> There's no answer. Come on, these guys. Um, it's not worth it. Dives our butts! <laughs> Uh, fine. And I'm just gonna pull the cart off, like to the side of the road. What, what was that name? I, I try to combine all of your names into one. Okay, go, go with them again. Do it again. Let me hear it. Fanta, Von, Pants, Fants. I reverse Fancy Pants. Whose name is Fancy Pants? Didn't you have someone called Fancy Pants? Did I? I swear. <laughs> I did not. <gasps> oh, you didn't. Ward had a had a unique <laughs> thought. I <laughs> thought of something myself. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You're turning into me. Oh, it's Eye Patch McGee. No. <laughs> Ward. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> with, 
the you worst don't thing. Have a you. That's, that's just you I, yourself. I just feel like it's a good idea to hide ourselves when talking to strangers, so then they can't blame us. <laughs> uh, DM with a watch's eye. Would I be able to sniff out maybe an outpost or a small little door that guards use for themselves yep. nearby? Um, you can. You can do your little check. Um, okay, what check? So, um, I'll give you an um, investigation okay. within, with with um, um, advantage because it's oh, part of. Thank yeah. you. What is the watcher's eye? Hopefully something. something cool. Is that a background thing? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Not. Not, Not okay. all the backgrounds are known. So, yeah. <sighs> um, you... Uh, even with an eight, you, you think... <laughs> yeah. No, even with an eight, you're actually quite sure that this is the only gate. Um, and with a, as you, everyone was mentioning, wow, this is really secure. Um, the best way to have a secure um, wall like this is to only have one entry. It does. I have this sneaking suspicion. It is running this has a criminal mind. Either that or there's something in these wilds that is dangerous at night. Maybe that's what we were sent here to get rid of. Why would they get rid of it now? Well, these walls um, have been here for probably a long time. That's a good point. Is uh, on the map sort of is it just like wastelands that this place is in? Um, yeah, that's the actually sitting next to the rocking. river. It's sitting next to the river. You can see docks down um, on both sides of the river in the dark. Like you can see at least the closest docks um, mm. further down the bottom of the hill. And there's definitely a road up from the docks that comes to the city or to the town, I should say. Um, and you can see the on the other side of the river, um, the other town is also um, on the other side of the river, and also has say, like similar docks and things like that. But it, but it actually well, seems to be the docks. The other town is on the river hmm. instead of up on a hill. Well, there's nothing for it. I suppose we have to find a place to stay for the night. We'll come Overnight. right here next to the gates. Um, there's, okay. it looks like it's yeah. been camped there before. Yeah. Slumber party! We can all sleep in the, uh, cart. It'll be fun. I mean, the other option well, is we try to climb possible. the wall. <laughs> no. I no, wouldn't no. try and risk no. that. No. 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 As you're saying that, you, so like, you see them passing with their lights and they're shining their, their, their beacon torches out into the fields. Oh, they are definitely scared of something. Are we doing watch? Please? Well, if this place has been camped in here before. If this place has been camped before, then I suppose it's as safe a place as any. Yeah. yeah I don't okay. want to go anywhere backwards. No. No, <laughs> certainly not. Um, so, watch orders. First watch. I'll be second. Yeah. Third. Yeah. Fourth. And then feel, can, yeah. I feel like the person without dark vision should be doing this first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still no, dark. No, we we'll agreed that people without dark vision should take the first and last. Yeah, yeah right. but I want the first. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this would be great for the party. Oh. Yeah, but I want it. <laughs> I want to be. I don't want to sleep less, so I'm gonna do it for anyway. Um, I'm gonna try to talk to a few guards as. Oh, no. uh, as I keep a watch. Um, each time you get their attention, they, they are very short and curt with you um, and quickly um, dismiss you Can and I will not engage in conversations. <laughs> can I flirt with one? Can I try to flirt with one with charisma? Um, you can, but um, even if you roll, they are very short with you. Um, you get the impression that they don't, they don't screw around. <laughs> As in, in both aspects, <laughs> when you're talking about the flirting side, but dang it! Ah, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a D and D game if somebody yeah. flirts with somebody. <laughs> Sorry for going there, but yet. <laughs> I need to roll charisma. No, 
No, you, you get the impression these guys mean business. They, they, yeah. Stop. Ew. No one's fun. I'm gonna do my watch and then give it to Robold. Yeah. And Robold's watch? Yep. I patrol, do the same thing. Yep. Keep it with her eye. Yeah. Um, you get the, you get the same impression. These guys are actually quite serious, well drilled. Um, and, um, although well drilled, um, they're not, uh, not truly professional, um, but they, they're doing their job. So they're more thug like Yeah. Okay. But still, you wouldn't want to meet in a dark yeah. alley, which, yeah, kind of where you are outside <laughs> the city. Um, but nothing happens um, during your watch. Okay, then I wake up the next one. Yep. Okay. Me, yeah. I'll just, I'll again, I'll just, I won't even bother talking to the guards because I know that's just hopeless. And, and you're I'll just sort of, antisocial. Yeah, I'll just keep a watch around. I'll make a little perimeter. Yep. Go around where we're skipping. Um, so as, you, as you, throughout your um, time as you watch, um, you do hear some things um, from across the river. Um, it seems to be, um, you hear a commotion, you can't see like everything because you're only really seeing is like tiny little motes in the distance um, from across the river. But um, you hear, oh, actually door perception, I'll give you more information if you do it really well. Um, they're still going to be hearing a fair bit anyway, but... The shortcut don't work, so I'll just do it from sheep. Yep, that's okay. Yeah, that shortcut uh, i got to fix up. Yep. Uh, Even uh, if 11. Um, you hear there's commotion. Um, something going on, you believe there's fighting. Um, but you can't really see what's going on because it's only... Much the river or the other side? On the other side of the river. Okay, well, in that case, I won't bother yep. being too worried about it. And um, after, like, later, this goes on for a little bit, for a good 10, 15 minutes. Um, later, you see the silhouette of a ship fly, um, sail back north, up the river. Hmm. Pirates. Interesting. Yeah, that was definitely something yeah. suspicious. Yeah. Um, but other than that, um, nothing comes to this side of the river um, and the ship didn't have any lights on it um, you didn't see it all you saw was the silhouette compared to the lights of the city um, and what little you could see in the starlight okay but, I'll wake up yeah. and Ward what are you doing tonight um, I am just going i'm going to walk over to the wall and look up how high is it it's trying to go scale and feet because i don't know feet's not my natural um a good 20 meters all right so about double me yeah <laughs> all right so i'm just gonna look up and then decide against my plans and walk back to the camp, sit down and like get out my axe, put Fido down in my lap and just start having like a conversation with all the voices in my head. <laughs> so, As you do. <laughs> just going to talk to Fido and talk to Glacier's Edge. Yep. So you spend the night keeping company um, with all of your imaginary friends. Some maybe more imaginary than the others, some scarily more real than others but you don't know which one so you're happy and um, then fido i i told them my name was Feta von pantyfats <laughs> i know <laughs> don't don't give me that look glacier's edge there's no one to fight right now and then i just go about my business <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and when it's Kanan's watch, once again, there's nothing. There's... Kanan's watch, the meteor comes down, we're dead. <laughs> no. 
That is tempting. No, um, <laughs> there's not. There's nothing that happens in Kadan's watch. Uh, in the morning, uh, the gates open pretty much at dawn, and they're very solid dates, um, very solid gates, and you start like people are slowly starting to to um, to move about the town because it's still early. Uh, but um, you're let into the city without any incident. Uh, right, I suppose we head for the improper then. Yep. Yeah. I so, want to find out what all this defense is about. So I don't know if you can see the key, but just guessing, yep. What a guess. They're on the GM's layer. <laughs> I'm going to actually get out and walk beside the cart as we go in. And uh, my posture is going to be just a little different, like the shoulders back. Yeah, standing tall and keeping my eyes forward. So proud, focused, attentive mm -hmm. guard almost. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right, yeah. It's a new look for so. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Uh, I'm just going to keep steering the cart, making yep. sure no one tries to like rob it or anything. Yep. So the cart has stopped at um, at the second gate, and 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 asked why you your purpose in the city. Oh, so uh, we so keep on saying town. Sent here by the silver daggers. Silver uh, daggers. We've been given, yes, we've been given. I'll, I'll flash my little dagger badge yep. thing, and uh, we've been given a task to do in this town, a uh, commission, as it were. He, well, as you say, Silver Days, he's kind of drawn back as like, as in, why are you here? Um, hold on, I'm about to sneeze. Oh. Yes. Wow. I don't, want, don't know whether my mute is, so I'll make sure that's okay. Um, so yeah, he's a, he's a bit drawn back as Silver Days, as in, why are you here? Um, as if, like, that's this is not your town. Uh, but he says, well, if you've got business, you've got business, but um, just leave the cart out, um, we'll... Um, park it in one of the um, in the fields, and um, it'll be there for how long, and we cared for. But no, no carts up up into the into the top town. And the bollocks will they be stabled? Yes, we'll we'll make sure they're stabled. We'll we'll figure something out for you. Okay. That's very generous. And then I just and do they want me to Can drive it? Place doesn't seem too friendly. So essentially, they're going to put them um, into one of the empty fields around the um, okay. empty paddocks. Oh, well, so one of the Z2s around the map. Getting, I guess. Yeah. And they'll just put the cart in the field and shut the paddock, and the bullocks can be released and just, yeah. Do we have like a notice or something that says that we're here, or did the chick just say, hey, go here? You're told to go to the barge right in. But we don't have any written... But the barge right in is also the town and the... In itself. And the inn. Yeah. What if, what if it's not at the inn? <laughs> Bollocks. I suppose we'll have to find <laughs> out. Yeah. As, excuse me, can you point out where the inn is then? So we can get about this quick and... Boom. Quick. <laughs> He points down the road, and you actually you can see it from the gate. Um, it's the largest building, the one with the towers. That's the original barge right in. Well, one of the original barge right ins. Oh, oh shoot! Oh shoot! What? Oh, sh um, if the rumors are true, and there are some people here who are not as desirable and um do things that they probably shouldn't we probably um i don't i can't i don't want to say this in common because um you could talk to robold in a language because <laughs> if i say this in common then it's gonna alert other people and it's like mm. hold on can we do like a language chain 
Let's see. <laughs> yeah. well, okay. we, we know we know there's two people that speak um, infernal. Infernal, which is a scary language. But yes. Say, mm-hmm. uh, no one speaks dwarvish or deep speech. So it kind of just ends at robot. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you can pass it to robot. Yeah. If that's what you wish. Uh, can I see your journal, please, please, please? My journal. Anybody's journal. Okay, I here's my journal. Aren't the pictures uh, pretty? <laughs> yeah, they're very pretty. I love your pictures. And then I'm gonna write down real fast. Uh, we should have put our gold in uh, his chest because it's safer than in our pockets. And then I'm gonna like sort of just pass around the note discreetly as possible. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I spent mine. That's why you spent yours. Um, <laughs> we just need to let me handle most things. What? What? <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're letting so handle conversations and communication. No. Yeah. No, no, you can let me handle it. <laughs> you go? and Kip need to look as inconspicuous as possible. What's wrong mm-hmm. with the way I look? Nothing, you're a beautiful human. Let's just walk straight. Just slightly <laughs> more pink than they should be, but don't talk. Mm, all right, I learned you. Uh, can I, as we walk, can I keep my ears out to see if I hear any speech patterns that would sound like normal conversation, but is actually these can't as we talk, it, uh, as we it, walk? It's still early in the morning. There's only a few people out and about. Okay. Um, as you do walk past, um, those people that are uh, out and about, they stop and just stare at the group. Good and, morning, hello. And That's they're the far less polite than that. And then as, as you pass them, like some of them actually, if you turn around, you can actually see them gathering and talking, um, but in the distance and quietly. That can't be good. This town so is lovely. very creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just walk really, really so, fast. Yeah, we, we just... <laughs> yeah. So the town is dominated by um, the barge right in itself. Um, it is large. It's the largest building in the entire town. It's flanked in both north and south by two massive towers, or two large towers, I should say. The front of it um, has essentially a courtyard, which is gated. Um, and as you enter the courtyard, there's a little well and... Um, there as well, a little so a, a fountain there as well. Uh, you can still see a few lights of the lanterns in the front of the barge ride in um, from the night before, and you can see, you can hear a little bit of movement inside. Um, we're at our three-hour mark. Do you want to have a little bit of a break and come back and do I one do more? I am. <laughs> If I'm being honest, I'm very tired, yep. and I've got a lot of I've still got Shiny. uni work to do, yep. and also because we know we're missing our cleric, so it'd be okay if we sort of. I mean, I if everyone know. wants to continue, I'm fine with that. But yeah, yeah, I feel like actual story elements is about to happen. Oh. Kick off for win. So I feel like for for, for, uh, for everyone to be here. Yep, we can we can do that. Um, I just thought everyone wanted experience, but oh well. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I know how close you are. You're 20 experience away from second level and actually rolling another hit dice, but uh, so I'm just teasing. No, we can really stop here if you want. Um, I understand you're from the UK. I'm in Australia. It's a long distance with like big time distance. Um, so yeah, totally understand. And you've got so much uni work on. So it looks like we're going to finish up there. If everyone's okay. Yes. Yep. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So awesome. thanks for follow. Uh, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Say. <laughs> I was just saying. Sure. Yes. I was agreeing. Okay. <laughs> that, was like... that was the end of the thought. <laughs> so change change our map to here. Um, so this is the um, Prince of the Apocalypse. This is our. Um, the this is the Goblin's Cave's main adventure, our main story. 
um, our main D&D session for each week. We play this every week on Thursdays in Australia. If you're in the UK and in the US, it's like day earlier. Um, if you're looking for our times and session times for all our other shows, including this one, have a click on the events. Um, instead of having a schedule, because the schedule can be a bit weird, we use the events channel and you can quickly see what's happening. We do three shows a week generally. We do We Be Goblins at the start of the week, which is a comical Pathfinder adventure converted across to 5th edition just for ease of use. It's still a great adventure. Pathfinder does amazing stuff. We have our... And that's, that's every week with a new cast member every week. Um, a new cast taking on the roles of these gomic, these silly, adventurous, suicidal, malicious goblins kind of heroes, you could call them. Um, and then we have our, so my first dungeon, which is which was yesterday, uh, which is a group of newer role players, um, people new to either Dungeons Dragons role playing or even role twenty itself, and they are going through their first dungeon, which is the Sunless Citadel from the Yawning Portal um, collection. Tales of the Yawning Portal, so. And we have this, our main um, story each week. We also, I also do some GM preps, which are unannounced throughout the week, and also um, some Let's Plays throughout the week, just because, hey, it's fun, um, but I don't announce them, so please click on the follow if you haven't already. Um, we also are now an affiliate Twitch part, or, Twitch affiliates, so we take subscriptions, donations, bits, tips, all the other bits, um, and all the support, all the income helps build the channel and kind of pay back for all the stuff that I put into the show because I want to put on the best shows possible because these guys here deserve to be presented in the best way possible. Um, so we'll do a quick run through. Um, somehow we've swapped a little bit in our. Um, in our overlays, so we've got um, Sowen and um, <laughs> and Robold swapped. So we'll go we'll go first <laughs> to our dwarf Mars. <laughs> I am Peach or Mars. You can find me at Frog It Chair on Twitter. I like, sometimes do art, and I'm opening commissions very soon. And uh, I play Robold, the Warren Fighter, also known as the Beard. Bob Baron, but. Oh, yeah. my bad. My bad. Yeah. I play the Barbarian. So, would you like to do your reply, Camille? I am Kamali. You can't find me anywhere. I don't do commissions. I'm terribly sorry about that. I play so. The Tiffin who thinks she's a human, but very pretty and so cute. Please join us this week. <laughs> and our normal characters in our normal positions, uh, we have Ninjavo. Hey, I'm Ninjavo. I play Ward, the Warlock Goliath. Uh, you can find me at Ninjavo TV on Twitter or Ninjavo on the streams, Twitch and Mixer. Um, at the moment, I'm just busy with uni, so this is kind of the only place you'll see me at the moment. But after that, I'll be everywhere, and I don't do commission. <laughs> and, and <laughs> I if have you, nothing to sell. And if you're seeing him at uni, that's called stalking. <laughs> <laughs> if you see me at uni, say hello. I'm, I don't know how many Australian viewers we have. <laughs> I, I can tell usually after the stream, but yes. Um, and, of course, Sky. Uh, yes, I'm Sky uh, Marco, and you can find me at SkyBlueShinks on Twitter, Twitch, and SoundCloud. And again, once I'm done with uni, uh, I'll be opening up music commissions once again. And hopefully yep. we're getting some custom music if you want. Yay! Yep. Um, and you also do that... Um, the show at uni as well in the university um, radio station, yeah, which is uh, if you amazing. Want, if you want to, guess I do stuff on student radio as well. Uh, if you want to keep up to that, best follow me on Twitter and I'll post it there, usually when I'm about to start a show. Yep. Because it, it's its own we individual website rather than like a well-known one. So. Yeah. No problem. So um, that's pretty much our wrap. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, it's been entertaining from my, from my point of view, as it always is. Um, the, everyone's so wanting to level, 
um, in that break that was like, oh, we're so close. <laughs> um, but you're so close, but so far. And you don't know just what's ahead of you in this story <laughs> called New Management. <laughs> I know this. Um, oh, yes. So <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs> My name's Karsh the Goblin. <laughs> Um, and um, this is the Goblin Cave. Come back, have fun. If you click on the follow, it will tell you when we're live. Um, if not, just yeah, have a look at the events. So we're going to switch to the um, so switch to the um, credits. So bye. Bye.